poetry. Three. Thank you.
century. Three.
A wizard is never late, nor is he early. He arrives precisely when he means to. Hey there, shitheads. What's up? You know what? Hannibal and Monty are adding to the ultimate comic book movie list. I am so excited I could just shit myself. Well, you know, I already have. See you soon. Bye. This is a production. Yeah. I do not believe in putting real effort in. The only two people, the only two people that I will vouch for, Hannibal and Monty. Bridge to Captain Picard. Go ahead. We've just received word from the fleet. They've engaged the Borg. Mr. Data, put Starfleet frequency 1486 on audio. Aye, sir. <laughs> Stan is not a great Eminem song. No, I did not say Stan is not a great Eminem okay, song. What did you say? What happens when a masked producer and a headphone wearing comic book artist get together to talk music shit, comic book shit, and political shit on the internet? Monty. Title this time. Hannibal and Monty shit.
show. Why is my name second? What kind of shit is this? Let's talk some shit. Get your shit together. Get it all together and put it in a backpack. All your shit so it's together. And if you gotta take it somewhere, take it somewhere, you know? Take it to the shit store and sell it. Or put it in a shit museum. I don't care what you do. You just gotta get it together. Get your shit together. All, all I'm all I'm saying is I've, I've I've been trying to figure it out. The capacity is 50 people, but mm -hmm. why were a hundred people in there and they thought it was okay? That's all. That's all okay. I'm trying to figure out. Um. Uh, um. See you. See you. See that's that's the answer. See you can't defend it. Can't defend <laughs> it. See. I I mean. Yeah. Uh, uh, see, you uh, see, people. I don't understand why we're trying to defend this shit. I, 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 you know, some some days, Monty. Yeah. I, I'm like, if 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 you smoke weed, I'd be like, hook me up with show connect <laughs> because that nigga is amazing. Okay. <laughs> He has got the best of the best, the <laughs> stickiest of the icky. Okay. No, but like I, this is the shit I think about. You know, it's just. It's like when it's it's like Monty Monty got Monty got that good shit. He up here pulling buds apart like white girls that's friends with each other. Okay. <laughs> what? And, and you know what? And you know what that means, guys. And we are live! Are we live, Monty? We are live as fuck! That's what I like to hear. Welcome to Hannibal Monty Shit Show. I am Hannibal the Beat Animal. And I'm Monty. And this is episode 127. Maybe an episode about... He's been up on the roof ever since he saw your report. Or... Or... Doing what? Coming. <gasps> there you go. Wait, 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 w
just all day. So what, what's he gonna do if they all coming? Like, do you think he can't one really good time or like a little time? Like, like how does it work for rats? I don't know. I don't know. If, any if there are any rat experts in the chat, let us know. We will check it later. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs> martial arts and crafts say it's a fake martial art. Well, if it's a fake martial art, then you mean to tell me all those people on American Ninja Challenge show, those aren't actual ninjas? Yeah. All those white people aren't ninjas? Is that what you're telling me? Yeah. Yeah. What, what's up? What's up? And Pen Ultima said the ancient ninja style of skeet skeet no nutsu. <laughs> <laughs> uh, See? See? <laughs> See? So so and look look real quick real quick I want I want to get this out of the way real quick so that so that we can throw it up like if you want to follow and support Hannibal and Monty shit show check out the link tree right there right there oh we still using the good tracy joint yeah yeah I had Zoe grab a random one because I didn't make one I was like you know what we need a link tree logo here ah, that's because... the thing. Like, this this kid was the the, the, the... <laughs> Kid and Madonna's nipples are the best thing about Dick Tracy. Yes, so. yeah. Uh, well, well, see, we we can argue about that. Like Dick Tracy wasn't bad. I didn't say I didn't say it was bad. I said okay. these were the best things about Dick Tracy. See, you okay. heard it. Okay, you okay. like you're pre ready to argue about Constantine. Look, I, I, Hannibal, no. Hannibal, you're right. You're right. I went shanty on you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> you ever um, go full shanty? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Zoe, Zoe. Zoe's trying to be subtle and produce by pointing. What What do you want, Zoe? Oh, you want you want the pen? Okay, here's the pen. See, there okay. you go. I'm I'm not good at the subtle, the the pointing. I just just yeah, be yeah. like, like, hey, Dad, give me the fucking pen. Right? I would very much love to hear Zoe say those words one day. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, the yeah. Entry, which has been recently updated. Yes. Uh, can I tell them why it's been updated? Or? Yeah, 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 yeah. You can tell them why it's been updated because uh, no. we we have to before we leave this screen and introduce yeah. our guests. All right. So the reason the link tree has been updated, link tree has the links to everything that all things Hannibal and Monty shit show. So you can find us on every social media. Um, you can find uh, our website, the streamlabs, the whole everything you need to know about Hannibal and Monty shit show right there in the link tree. But we recently had to update it because two reasons. One. This will be the final ultimate comic book movie list that this we do it. on the shit show. This is it. This is the this end is it. of it on the shit show. There, there are no more ultimate comic book movie list episodes on the shit show. That is yes. it. This is done. So I hope you guys enjoy it because this is the last one we're doing on the shit show. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So. Live action animations is like, like all caps. What? Yes. Yes. Now, like, like if look, if that news upsets you. Give, give us some crying face emojis or something. Like, show us. Show us how much it upset, upset you. Look, I was like, look, because I don't even want to look. <laughs> Pen Ultimus is beaten foul. Okay, look. But look, check it out. This is the last Ultimate Comic Book Movie List episode that we're doing on Hannibal and Monty Shit Show. However, this is not the last Ultimate Comic Book Movie List episode because uh, starting next month, Monty and I are moving the Ultimate Comic Book Movie List episodes off of Hannibal and Monty Shit Show onto its own channel. We started a brand new YouTube channel for the Ultimate Comic Book Movie List where we can just sit down and talk and wait. about these movies yeah. and air the fuck out. Yeah, and actually, who the fuck subscribed to it already? How the fuck did you find it? Send me <laughs> screenshots of you, of you subscribing and uh, you'll get plunger points. Yeah. Well, and that being said, I'm glad, yeah, yeah, we, I look, we already got like six, seven subscribers to it. So look, if you look in the link down below, if you look in the description below in the, yeah. of this episode, you can, it'll, it'll bring you to a link to the ultimate comic book movie list show. It's going to be formatted different from the, the shit show. And we're going to give you guys a small taste of what that looks like tonight. Yeah. And that's not, do we, but, but, but wait, I, I have one uh, fucking question, Hannibal. Um, you remember we talked on the phone earlier today and I said, I'm busy putting the show together. I'm going to take care of the graphics and all that yeah. shit. Yeah. I, I look, listen, I've been trying to get in contact with Monty for days and this. Nope. I was about to, I was about to use the hard ER. This African-American fellow here. <laughs> I only say, I only use that word for people that deserve it. Like Shane and Rev. Yeah. Um, 
But this guy over here refused to talk to me. Every time I call him, he's busy and irritable. Just busy and irritable. Just I've like, been, I don't know what's going on with him. I've been busy putting this fucking show together because it's all new. Like, you're going to see what the show is going to look like on, on that channel. This so you is your already, preview. You are you already got something built? Yes. And then I look at the channel right now to see how many subscribers we have. And what the fuck are these graphics you put up, Hannibal? <laughs> I just, I didn't want people going to the channel when it wasn't prepared. So I wanted to make sure it was, it was good. You like it though, right? I did all, I did all the art for the Ultimate Comic Book Movie this episode. See, Monty isn't the only artist on Hannibal Monty's shit show. I allow him to do art, you know what I'm saying? But I, I do art too. I'm good at doing art. I do good art. Yeah, but we, we, we talked about this when we started the shit show. Can, can we show them the art that I designed? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you send me the art? Can you put the art behind us while we talk, Zoe? Um, before, this is, why? why? Or, or just go to the channel and you can see the art. Like, let's build that channel up. That channel is, it's got nothing. Like, Let's get that channel to a thousand subs, and then we need the four thousand view hours. So watch that oh, shit. Yeah. If we'll you like the, yeah, if you we'll like the comic, yeah, if you like the comic movie episodes, they will all be there, and we've got other content planned revolving around comic book movies. Look, that... look, 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 Mickey Richards says such groundbreaking art. Thank you, <laughs> Mickey Richards. Take fifty plunger points. <laughs> Don't kiss his ass for bullshit art. No, we no, did. no, 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 It's just that. Uh, look, I love crawfish. There's another channel for me to hate. Awesome. Thank you. I yes. Love yes. But we discussed this at the very beginning when we started the show. You handle the music. I handle the visuals. Yeah. But you remember that time we <coughs> reviewed a Tool and you made that Tool song? That was a good. Me? That was a good Tool song. Right. So what I did was I did art without, you know, I can't get in contact with you. I haven't been able to talk to you out there. I don't know what you're doing, but I know this is still got to get done. So I wrote out a description. I also uh, did the art. I did the layout for it. It's good to go. And I even made a theme song for the, the new show. Yeah, yeah. And we're going to play that in a second and then introduce our guests so and we'll, we'll read the stream lab look at that look at that this is the art i designed y'all this is the art okay <laughs> okay Monty is not the only artist in the world okay but look, first of all it very prominently features both hannibal and Martin, right it has a very accurate representation of our body types and it tells you what the show's all about, okay? Like, everything you need to know about the ultimate comic book movie list, right here. This shit is incredible. Uh, someone, uh, thank you. Someone says, great art. Look how real those faces are, okay? And look, look, listen, listen, listen. Haters say it's Photoshop, but I actually did it myself, okay? Uh, uh, and why are my dreads so puffy at the bottom. What what the fuck is that? It almost looks like I have dread tits. Dread tits? I like it. I like it. Listen, listen, if y'all go to Monty's OnlyFans right now, y'all get to see dread tits. There we go. <laughs> hey, we're not supposed to talk about my OnlyFans on the show. Look at that. Like, look, look at Red Fang says, oh, that is some bad art. You know? That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. I'm assuming you mean the way Michael Jackson used it in the 80s and not like, you know, <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Danny says Hannibal is the black Picasso. You know what, Danny? Take your pleasure point. Anyway, this is what this is what I've been doing all day, Monty. What you been doing? I've been building this show, but you know, Hannibal did do one thing so that we can move forward. Hannibal, aside from doing this bullshit, uh Hannibal put together a theme song. I didn't get to finish making the video because I was putting together the flow of the overlays and everything. So uh -huh. what we're gonna do now is we're gonna play the intro music. And it's, uh, what I laid out was, uh, it's sort of a filler intro. I'm gonna do a better one when the next one comes up, but it's enough. It features all the movies we're watching on this show. We're gonna play that intro, go into the brand new overlays that you'll see moving forward on the new channel. And then we will introduce our guests, Vapion 
and Larry from OAW. So, Zoe, hit the fucking intro. Let's see Hannibal, what Hannibal's supposed to be doing, which is making fucking amazing music, not terrible art. Wait, when did and, I make terrible art? I only made the art that you watched, you saw just now. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty terrible, Hannibal. No, that was fantastic. Okay? <laughs> just, look, first off, I'm looking at all the new subscribers that we got, okay? So I did something right. So I'm <laughs> anyway, see what your ass been doing all, all this. All right, all right. Let's see if it compares. We'll see, we'll see. Well, this intro is just a rough placeholder, but it features all the stuff that we're going to be talking about. Watch the channel for the next Ultimate Comic Book Movie List episode, and you will see everything come together and be what it is. But let's roll into it. Here we go. Sweet Halloween in Collard Greens proudly presents the Ultimate Comic Book Movie List Show. I want dreads like Monty Pato. I keep the comic book crime wave in Grim the craziest masked man like Hannibal the victim. You might look the pop, but you won't do the moves right. I'm one step ahead of you, the kingpin of K-Town. Joaquin, but I'm not for jokes or for play clown. I'm ten times serious, I'm Brainiac. Five, check your Instagram story, see the maniac live. Here we go. There it is. Oh, look at this layout. Look yeah, at this look motherfucker. At this. Oh shit. Look at what? this. Wait a minute. You like? You like? Oh. You like? Shit. Look at this. And look at oh, look at my dread sticking out over here. That looks bad. Hang on, let me this fix that shit. Nice as hell. Look there at we this. go. Look, I, I like how spacious it is and shit. Look at all this room I got. Are yeah. these all the floors, nigga? Yeah. These look. Are nice Star Wars floors. Yeah. I, I've been building this fucking. This fucking room for the new channel. This is the new channel. This is what it's going to look like. Yeah, I like this. This is nice. Yeah, yeah. I, I just got the chat over there. Let me see. That's okay. Yeah, yeah. And, and if you look if you look over there, uh -huh. as we grade these movies, mm -hmm. our grades oh, will it. pop it's up right there. See, I see it. It's got Vapey on, and then it's got Larry. It's got me. It's got... Okay. Yeah. Yes, okay. You know what? I was talking shit about you earlier, but you know what? I'm not doing it no more. So, cause that, you know, I'm I'm gonna save it. I'm not gonna talk no more shit about you for the next thirty minutes. All right, all right, all right. And but also, also, that fucking song, like Hannibal. Tell them about that song, and then let's introduce our guests. Oh, um, okay. So the, the 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 song, the the beat you guys heard, that is actually from the Judge Dread episode that we did a few. Uh, like when we we met our stream goal. Thank you very much, guys, for helping us meet our stream goal for the month. For that episode, I was supposed to make a a, a new beat out of um, make a beat from one of the judge based on the Judge Dread movies, which I did. And um, <laughs> that picture awesome. And uh, <laughs> and uh, uh, what I did was I got. Uh, uh, Grim, OG Ben Grim, who's a, a friend of the shit show, and whose album we reviewed on uh, Shithead Appreciation Month, uh, we reviewed uh, uh, the Shithead Appreciation episode, we reviewed his album, uh, so I called Grim, and I said, hey, I need you to write a verse about some superhero shit, and he did that, and then I called Amore Jones, who is the guy who sang the 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 remake of the Jesse Lee Peterson theme for us when we did that. So I called those guys. I said, hey, this is what I need y'all to do, and this is what I need it done by, and they did that shit, and that's the intro to the song. Now, the, the intro to the Ultimate Comic Book Movie List episode. Now, that being said, we have two guests. I am going to introduce the guests under me. You introduce the guests under you. Yes. Uh, joining us for the first time, coming from the comments section over there to now being a guest on the show. He is a shit, he is not only a shit show guest, but it is his first time on the shit show. Ladies and gentlemen, from the chat to the show, give it up for Vapion! Welcome, Vapion, welcome. Yes. Tell the yes. shitheads who you What's are, up, guys? if they don't know already. Uh, I'm just a guy who likes comic books and comic book movies from Ohio. So. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, and look, look, I, got, I gotta say this about Vapion. From the very first Ultimate Comic Book Movie List episode, 
Vapion has been in the shared movie folder. Vapion has been watching the shit. We've been sharing the shit with him. So it's only natural that he be part of this episode. Yes. Yes. But continue, Vapion. <laughs> uh, I, I, I tried to make my background more interesting. Like, I have Ninja Turtle Funko Pops. I have a Constantine Funko Pop. I don't oh. own anything Deadpool at all. Oh, you're yeah. good. Which is sad. Is Which is sad. I, uh, <laughs> oh, you're good. You're I good. Own, I own over 900 Funko Pops and over <laughs> 200 action figures, and none of them are Deadpool. <laughs> Well, you gotta step your game up, man. You gotta step yeah, your game yeah. up. I, I feel like I'm about to get on Amazon and send you a, a a Deadpool now, just so we can have that in the collection. Yeah, yeah. It's it's funny because I have I have Nega Nega Sonic Teenage Warhead, mm-hmm. and I have Colossus, <laughs> and I have Domino. <laughs> yes. Yes, yes. Also, also, shout out to I appreciate how you walked that tightrope just now. It's it's tricky just now saying her name. Nega Sonic. Yes. <laughs> Nega Sonic Teenage Warhead. Yes. Also, probably one of the best character names. Uh, well, definitely one of the best character names in the Marvel Universe. So that that's that. So we got Vapi joining us. Yes. And below and Marty. Below me, we got the man, the myth, the dude that's here. To fight with Monty over some random shit. I love this man below me, but he's going to say some shit that I'm not going to agree with, and we're going to have it out. Larry from OAW, welcome to yes. the fucking shit show. Yes. Tell him who you are. <laughs> oh, man, I, got, I feel like I got to take this mask off, bro. I was trying to do the handboard thing, man. But he's like, I'm telling you. Listen, I'm trying to tell you this mask, this mask life is something else. I've been doing this shit for a couple, you know, some some years now. It's like like a decade or so. So it's just like it. But in the beginning, my face was always sweaty. <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyway, but what what's happening, everybody? Shout out to everybody watching live. Shout out to everybody watching after the fact. Shout out to all the shitheads in the chat. What's happening? This is your boy, Larry Williams, OAW Commander in Chief, host of OAW Entertainment YouTube channel. Your place for reviews and discussion videos for geeks and geek enthusiasts. Um, just me personally. Look, what? Oh man, what is this? This is twenty. Yeah, this. Yeah, ten year YouTube vet. Fuck. You know, ten years, dude. I've been doing this a decade, bro. Just celebrated Damn. the tenth year anniversary. A couple of. Oh uh, no, last month. Last month we did it. Last month we did it. Yeah. So ten year anniversary. Uh, resident you YouTube reviewer. Um, you know anything and everything. Comic, uh, geek related, what what have you? Comic books, anime, all types of stuff. Uh, anyway, just check out the channel youtubecom slash Entertainment. Yeah, um, and, and the funny thing is, the first time I was ever on your channel, we weren't talking anything geek related. We were talking parenting and raising daughters. Oh yeah, well you know I'm in the, you know I, I talk about some serious shit too. Yeah, like Larry, Larry gets about. into it. Like we didn't argue over that, but when it comes to this nerd shit. Um, la- la- Larry might be as wrong as Missy Ann sometimes, you know? Oh, 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 no, wait, wait. So, 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 real, so real quick, I gotta put, I gotta, I gotta put all the shitheads on notice, because cause we gonna get into some shit tonight. We gonna get into some shit tonight. Look, look, the first, the first time me and Larry talked comic books, we talked for hours, yes. and I was just like, I was amazed, I was like, man, I just... Like, this man was saying some shit. I was just like, I just can't, my brain can't even Look, process this information. Me, That's why I so desperately wanted Larry on this episode. Let me let me ask y'all a question, because here's what happened that night. I don't know if y'all remember the first time Larry was on a shit show. It was, a, it was a, the April Fool's episode. And Larry was a first time guest. Instantly became one of my favorite guests. But when the show ended, I had to go to bed. They stayed on the Skype call. Thanks for the subs here. Thank you very much, new subscriber, who I will. Israel. Israel Perez. What is up, Israel? Thank you. Yeah, they they stayed on the call. Don't don't say fuck fuck me, fuck you, Missy Ann. What are you talking about? Um, but I knew I knew I knew you had a thing for Missy Ann. You like you got a thing for white girls, so I knew it was coming. Not like that. Finish your story. No, finish your story. No, but they were uh. They, they stayed on the call. I was like, look, I got to go to bed. I, 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 but I went out. I had a drink because I like to have a drink and a cigarette because I'm a smoker. Um, and then I came back out. They were still talking. So I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to hit record. 
So that whole conversation is recorded. I haven't listened to it because neither one of them really know. So I can't really do anything with it because they don't know it's recorded. But uh, <laughs> I haven't listened back to it. But if you want randomly, I can have Zoe go to a random timestamp in that conversation and play snippets of that conversation. <laughs> <laughs> I can only look. We we had a very long conversation about, and and I remember Man of Steel kept coming up in that conversation. It was just man, Larry. Ooh, Larry was dragging. <laughs> I would change that nigga name to Smog the way he was dragging that shit. That nigga was dragging the fuck out that movie. It was great. Look, we got a couple stream labs that came in. Let me read these shits real fast. Um, in the order that they came in, hypothesis. Uh, send us a don't know that says, I may have had the nunchuck, Psy, and Bo Staff. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, no, that's a Monty Rodica. That is a Monty Rodica. So, yeah. And, <laughs> and look, uh, Carnivorous Ape, Jill is on next week. Next week. Jill? Oh, you mean G? Okay. Uh, yeah. Fuck that. Yeah. All right. Anyway, uh, Alan Reyes says, Nerdy Fact. On Lord of the on the Lord of the Rings extended cut, you can watch the discussion of and rough storyboard cut of the early idea of Aragorn fighting Sauron. Ooh, okay, yeah. And I'd be curious to see how they because they they don't really get into the power of Sauron. They we don't. just see him be tall with a mace, fucking up different elves and dwarves and shit. Yeah, that's and like we literally like the first five minutes of Lord of the Rings, the fellowship, we see him fighting and the rest of that, he's just an eyeball. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. And also American Nightmare, uh, I didn't get consent to tape them. I just pressed record. I haven't even listened to it and uh, I haven't actually, done anything with it. So Actually, so here's what's crazy. In the state of Georgia, you can record anybody without their consent. Yeah. As long as one person is aware the recording is happening, then you can do it. Now, I don't know how that works with you. Yeah, but Skype. I'm not going to do shit with that unless y'all both know what's on it and or what I'm going to do. And now you know, so we'll talk about it later. Like, we'll, uh -huh. we'll, we'll see what I can do with it. I'll send All you right. copies of it. So. The next one came from Penn Ultima, who says, Hannibal's art is like an, the anorexic version of Rob Lafer. <laughs> <laughs> it is. It is. It is. Yeah. I, I don't look. I don't know who Rob Layfield is, but I'm gonna presume that's a compliment. So thank you, Penultima. It is Tito, not. It, it <laughs> Tito is Canoe. Not. You know what? I'm not. Nope. Not listening. Not not ready to argue with you yet, Larry. Hold on. Tito Canoe says that song is so good. It makes me. It makes me want to slap a G man. <laughs> and, and, and remember, G man stands for uh, uh, Gary, a mad ass nigga. So. <laughs> According to according to Antonio Slim, who's on our pop up episode on Monday, um, Antonio, Buck you're always welcome back on the show. You were fucking oh, fun. Absolutely, absolutely. Buck Melanoma says y'all know Rev had to pull Shanny off the toilet earlier today, right? Oh, I, I caught that. I caught that. Or, or I, a friend of mine was watching, and he told me about it. Oh, oh a friend of yours was watching. Yeah, yeah. We won't mm -hmm. get into that. We'll okay. All right. Yeah. So I, I I don't even understand how that works. What do you mean he had to pull her off the toilet? Like she was using it so bad that he needed to use it too, or was she too big to get off the toilet, or just I don't, what? Why? Yeah, why? Incredible. Why was like, like this? Is what I'm saying. If you using, if you gotta take a shit and pulling this is involved, you're doing something wrong. <laughs> look, look, we're, we're we're not going there on this. This is the I ultimate did. comic book movie episode. Yeah. And, and also, then, also get ready because I've been talking to Burnt Toast. Mm -hmm. Next month on the shit show, mm -hmm. there's about to be a new segment. We talked about this segment, and Burnt Toast is down to do this segment we talked about. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. If, the, if the, 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 thing, the Clarence yeah. segment, Han Hannibal. Yeah. The okay. Clarence segment. <laughs> Clarence. <Shut> yes. <laughs> and. The last one came in from R. Azrael that says, do y'all know anything about the Blue Marvel by Kevin Gra Graveau? I'm probably, if I'm saying that wrong, I apologize. Is this who wrote the screenplay for un the Underworld franchise and I, Frankenstein. Yes. I think enough recognition. Yeah, Graveau's awesome, dude. Yes. 
Gravel's one of my idols, man. That dude is so cool. Really? Okay. I got it. I'm, I'm not familiar with him, but I'm 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 looking him up now. So. Uh, what did did you ever see Underworld? Yeah. Oh yeah 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, it, I, I'm seeing the picture of who he is now. Yeah. Yeah. And Heather Holderness just said. You all hear Monty and Shani's interactions, LOL. I call conspiracy because if you're inbox Hannibal, LOL. I, I don't know what that last part means, but yeah, yeah, I, I actually interacted with Shani. So uh, I'm, at, I'm I'm looking I'm looking in the inbox now. Hold on, we're gonna see. What are you talking about? Wait a minute. Get out of my page, get to the shit show page. Yeah. All right, anyway. Anyway, so yeah, so that's all the stream labs. And that's it. So but look, wait, wait, wait. We just got another one from OG Ben Grimm. Thank oh, you to correct. whoever that said that that song was great. That song was great, Ben Grimm. You fucking killed it. You actually inspired the art that I'm doing. And wait till you see that shit, dude. Yes, you yes, fucking yes, killed the it. Art, the art for the new channel is actually going to be yeah. And and also, look, Ben, Ben, if you remember when we reviewed your album that I liked and I kept talking about what I heard in it, what I heard in that track was a beast that I was, that I knew you were. Yeah. Like, yeah. fuck. Yeah, it, it was look, it was fun. I hit him up on, I think, Friday, and he had sent me his verse. Yeah. Uh, like, like fr if I hit him up Friday night, he sent me the verse Saturday morning. So it was, it was, it was super quick. Yeah, you know? Ben, ben Grimm is, is fucking badass. Yeah, shout out to OG Ben Grimm. Shout out to Amore Jones. They fucking killed that shit. Yeah. And um, yeah, that's it. Look, all right, let's get into it, man. Yeah. Let's talk about these motherfucking yeah. movies. And look, look, before we go, this is the format's gonna be a little different. We're gonna we're gonna still go around and we'll probably start Hannibal, Monty, Larry, Vapion. And then we'll go Monty, Larry, Vapion. Hannibal, Larry, Vapion, Monty, all right, Hannibal, Monty, and you know, so forth. But uh yeah, the way we're going to run it is we're just going to go into the movies like we did on the very first one and maybe veer onto different paths when we do. And the idea is we're all going to go around and talk and keep it brief when we talk. You say what you liked about the movie, what you didn't like about the movie, and if you can, who do you think this movie's for? And then give your grade. And then after all of us have, have done that, we will discuss. We would just, just go just random round table? Yeah, we'll, we'll round table after that. And then we got 30 minutes per movie with all of that. So. Looking at my grades right now. Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm good. Yeah. yeah that I guess. that so being who, said, let's, let's go in to Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, The Secret of the Ooze. Who yes. picked this movie? Was this Va Vapion? Was this your choice? Actually, you know, we should probably go Vapion first. Because I just realized we picked these movies. Why don't we let yeah. Vapion, yeah. how do you feel about going first? Or do are you more comfortable if we go the way we said? I know it's your first time on the show. I, I can go first with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Uh... All right, I take it, take it, on, Vapion, here you I go. I was debating on two movies. It was this one or Mystery Man, which I didn't realize was a comic book movie. I thought it was yeah. a movie based on superheroes, but it actually is a based comic book comic, movie. Yeah. But, uh, yes, it is. I, I did, this is the only movie I actually wrote notes for. I was like, during the opening, almost everybody is eating blended cheese pizza, and I yes. was like, that is weird. Yeah. Like, everybody. Uh what I liked about the movie, it feels a lot like the cartoon that I grew up with. It's it's very much that brought to life. The first movie is a little bit more serious. This one, there's no there's no like seriousness to it. They don't even use their weapons because I don't know if you knew this or not, but there was an outrage by parents that the first movie was too violent. Yeah. They would not let the turtles use their weapons in this movie. They used like yo yo's and sausages. Yeah. Yeah. And Yeah, I, and, uh, I, I I read that. Yeah, you're absolutely right. You know what? I, I can I give Vapion plunger points while he's <laughs> on the show? Yeah, Hannibal, you can. You can. All right, these are these are like and I'm giving you three hundred four hundred plunger points to give out to the, the shitheads however you feel, but I'm giving you fifty plunger points for knowing that random ass detail. About Teenage Mutant Turtles. Oh yeah, like I also 
because I was like I looked I looked stuff like stuff up about these stuff. They're, like the company is like T G R I in the movie, but it's not in the comics. It's T C R I. I don't know why they've changed it. And uh, what I disliked about the movie is it's all new April. The first April is not back. Yeah. Uh, uh, they use Shredder again. Like you have an entire bullpen of enemies. You have Crane, who's my favorite. You have Baxter Stockman. You have all these other enemies, and you just are like, let's bring Shredder back. And mm-hmm. uh, Token Razor, like really, like everybody wanted Bebop and Rocksteady. It took us like thirty years to get Bebop and Rocksteady in a movie, and then one of them was played by Sheamus. Which is upsetting. Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right. So I gave, but I actually gave this movie a, a B. I think it's a good movie. I think if you're someone my age, you're, you're obviously you obviously like this movie. Like you grew up on this movie. Uh, it's better than. It's definitely better than three. I don't know if it's better than one. Uh, it's better than. Both of the Michael Bay ones. I would say it's probably better than the animated one that came out in the mid two thousands. So I, I, uh, I, I, I think this is probably the second best movie we watched out of the four. Okay. All right. But the, the yeah, that's all I got to say about it. Okay. I mean, okay. Right. Okay. Hey, yeah. Hey. Vapion with the B. All right. All right. Vapion, hit everybody, it with the B. Everybody in the chat, I want you, after we go around, I want everybody to drop their grades and their reasons so we can go through and talk about it. Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah. We, yo, yeah. And look, right now, and once we move to the new channel, there will be a grading scale and bot commands that are geared towards the comic book movie episode, which is part of the reason we're moving it to a new channel. So that all the commands work with this. We're actually going to use the heist command and all the all the games you can play with StreamBot on that channel for comic book movies. But check the description. Go sub to the channel. Look, let's get this as close to a thousand subs as we can. As quickly as we can. Come on, go sub go sub to that channel. Yeah, but go uh, sub- Go <coughs> to that channel and look for all you guys watching the show now. Like we got seventy of y'all watching, but we only got fifty likes. Let's make the amount of people yes. that are watching the show match the amount of people that like. Look, my arms went out the box. Okay, that's yeah. how much I want y'all to go sub to the. Go like the the, the bottom of the. And look, oh. we talked to the we talked to the like button. Okay, she been quarantined for weeks. She frisky. So go ahead and consensually, right? Yeah. Look, yep. Consensually. Press that like button. Yeah. Let's get them likes up there so more people can check this shit out. Yeah. All right. So, we, going, we going clockwise? So, yeah. Yeah. Hannibal. Hannibal. Your turn. Yeah. TMNT. So look, all right. All right. So, check it out. When I was young, girl, because uh, I'm still a young man right now. <laughs> yeah. The um, This was probably my favorite. of. I was a huge Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles fan. Love. I used to read the cartoon. I used to read the comic books, watch the cartoon, had the action figures, seen all the movies multiple times. I used to have that gigantic VHS case that the shit comes in that they put only family and kids movies in and shit. I fucking love the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And I specifically was a huge fan of... Of, oh, wait, let me slide over. Bam, look at that. I like giant Hannibal, right? Hello! How is everybody tonight? Hello! <laughs> there we go. She's working on it. She's working on it. There I you saw go. Something weird's happening with my camera right now, y'all. But Zoe's on it. She's best. Anyway, when I was young, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, The Secret of the Ooze, was my favorite of all the fucking um, the Turtles movies. I thought that movie was fantastic. And the main reason I love that movie is because I love fucking uh, uh, Ernie Reyes Jr. I think that motherfucker is incredible. He's a fantastic martial artist, uh, and I enjoy watching all of his fight scenes in the movie, uh, you know, uh, uh, even though he doesn't have a lot of them in the movie. And I thought that Super Shredder was dope, and... You know, I, I, I was like, there was so much about this movie that I thought was fantastic. I actually liked the new April more than I liked the old April. You know what I'm saying? Now, that being said, watching it again as a grown-ass man, I watched this movie, and I still love this movie. I love this movie with my whole heart. The, the fact that I can quote large sections of this motherfucker by heart, 
is yeah. amazing. Like word for word is incredible. However, that does not mean it is a good movie. Okay? Truth. <laughs> like, Truth. And, as much, and as much as I love this movie, and I do love this movie, I do not think that it is a good movie. Like it is uh uh yeah just just like vapion said it it does have the feel of a saturday morning cartoon um and some people are gonna really 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 like that but for me that was it so the thing i like the most about this movie is well, the, i'm sorry the thing i dislike the most about this movie was that it felt so much like a saturday morning cartoon to the point where uh there's certain scenes where stuff happens like they have to run away real fast and they'll literally have that cartoon Hanna-Barbera like cartoon running away music in the background like they use like the old Hanna-Barbera sound effects throughout this live action movie and it's just it's just this is one of those movies that the studio made worse because they was like man this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle phenomenon is gonna run out soon hello I'm big again hello, how, is, <laughs> how is everybody today Good morning to you. Yeah. Look at Bill, young Bill Fridge is in the chat. He says TMNT3 was better movie than TMNT2, but I didn't love it like I love the ooze. Yeah. Mm. Bill Fridge, I I, I I haven't seen three in a long time, but I, I think you might be right. I think three might be better than two, but one is better than all. Um, Look, I enjoyed this movie. I hated that it was like, like an over-the-top uh, uh, Saturday morning cartoon. That's the thing I disliked the most. The thing I loved the most about this movie was uh babies. <laughs> babies. <laughs> that scene is not supposed to be funny and it's fucking hilarious. He was like, they're infants, and Shredder's like, they're stupid. It's like, yeah. I was like, I felt Shredder's pain on that shit. Um Look, this movie is for I this I think this movie is for 80s and 90s babies specifically. And as much as I enjoyed it, I this I don't think this is a good movie. I'm giving this movie a D plus. All right, all right, shit. And I, I love it, but don't get it twisted. I love this movie. I love this movie. I it love the hell out of it. I just don't know if I can recommend it to anybody else. All right, all right, fair enough. D plus from Hannibal. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm keeping tabs on. I mean, even though I see him popping up on the chat, so we got a D plus and a B. What 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 say you, uh, Montel yeah. Montez Porter? Yeah, and and I'm gonna say this. Uh, put your uh, grades in in the chat. Subscribe to the channel. We will have a better way for you to get your grades, and we will also tally your grades at the end. We're not on this one because I don't have the system set up, but I'm setting up a system for tallying yeah. grades. But yeah, uh, the look, Destruction Inc. gave it a C. And look, y'all yeah. can drop y'all grades and tell us why y'all giving it the grade yeah. too. Destruction Inc. gave yeah. it a C. Dewan Patterson Powers, love that double hyphenated P. Yeah. Uh, gave it a B minus. But, but yeah, yeah, with all that, let's, let's go into this. And, uh, you know, I thought, I thought going into this that I was going to fight with Hannibal specifically on this. As far as grading goes. So I'm going to break down what I liked and didn't like about this. Because okay. I, uh, what I loved about this was I also, th this, this is also one of my favorite Ninja Turtles movies. Mm. <clears throat> I love this movie. I loved everything about it. I loved, I loved how it started. I loved the random fucking Asian kid that delivers pizza that randomly meets the turtles. And he's also a PI somehow who can find <laughs> April O'Neil's house and show up yeah. and go, Hey, you got some turtles here, bitch. What about this one? You know, that, that, that was one of my favorite things. Like he walked in, he's like, Oh shit. What about that green foot hiding? Aren't they supposed to be ninjas? We don't yeah. fucking care. This kid knows he saw Raphael. He saw Raphael's foot, the yeah. last turtle whose whose foot you'd see. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> those are all things I loved. Like I loved those moments. I love the yo-yo scene and Raphael or, or Donatello finding the fucking bouncy 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 doll, and he's like, yeah. "Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, yeah." <laughs> like what? What? What's the yeah for? I love that. I don't know why. I don't know why. I don't know why. It was awesome. 
It was awesome. Yeah. But, but all of that was fun. This movie was very, very cartoony, very fun, very... This felt like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon way more than the first one. And and Billy the Fridge, yeah, Kino. Kino was a kid, Billy the Fridge. Yes. Billy the Fridge, I I haven't seen it in a while, but you're fucking wrong, Billy. You're a sweet boy, but you're you're fucking wrong. Turtles in Time is not better than this. I remember that being trash when I was young. Um But we'll we'll Look, when we do Turtles in Time, you got to come on, Billy. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, but, it all felt like the cartoon, and it made me happy to watch. I enjoyed the fuck out of this movie. But, what I didn't like was some of the dumb shit. Like, it's, it's a dumb movie. Mm. When... When we do this list, what we're doing is we are comparing these movies to every movie that exists. Yes. Um, say, say that one more time, Monty. Say we are comparing time. these movies to every movie that exists. Every movie that has ever come out. That's what's happening. As much as I love this movie, and this movie will forever be on some form of playlist that I want to keep with me forever. This movie belongs on it for me. But when I talk about this movie compared to every other movie, my grade is a D plus. I actually agree with Hannibal. <laughs> First off, I don't I don't like the energy that you put forward when you said that because <laughs> you made it seem like you and I always disagree. And that's not true. Oh, we disagree a lot. We don't always we, we, disagree. We we no, no. First off, we've reviewed this will be a hundred and twenty five comic book movies from last January to now. A hundred and twenty five comic book movies we've reviewed, and we dis. I can literally count on one hand all the serious disagreements that we've had. Like, yeah, I, I, I same know here. Same here. Off the top of my head, same here. It's, it's not a lot of movies. You yeah. know what I'm saying. Yeah. So as I'm like, I don't even know why you uh. Why are you doing this? Shit? All right, let's let's You're get right. to the You're most right. controversial man in the room. Okay, let's do this shit. Go, Zoe, go full screen for Larry. He about to fuck some shit up. Okay, everybody move the furniture back up against the wall. Okay, <laughs> wait, hold up. Why, why am I the most controversial man in the? You know what? Fine, fuck it. Whatever. I'll own it. <laughs> I'm a bitch. I'll own it. Let's do the damn thing. All right. So, secret of the ooze. Um. So, uh. Just like you guys, Secret of the Ooze, I came up with it. You know what I'm saying? 90s baby, came up, well, 80s baby, 90s kid, came up with it and whatnot. Um, but, I mean, ev like, everything that was mentioned earlier kind of stands, right? Um, just for reference, for everybody watching, um, I'm a huge um, TMNT 90s fan. That yeah. first film, that first film is a classic. That first film... In my opinion, one of the greatest comic book films of all time. All right. Okay. Like, like that first film would be in the top 25. Top 25 greatest comic book films of all time. In my Damn. opinion. Damn. Right. Okay, Lion. Okay. So, and here's the thing. Secret of the Ooze is such a departure from that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, just like what was mentioned earlier. Yeah, the whole point for this one was to lighten it up. Make it more like the cartoon. In that, I think it is successful. On that note, what I liked about it. Number one. Regardless of how you feel about the movie, let's be real about this. Jim, Jim Henson's Creature House. It was about that life again This, this with the sequel now. Mm -hmm. Them effects, yeah. them suits was still on point. Because mm -hmm. what, what was this, 1990? Which one is this, 92? It, no, it might have been 90. Uh, like 90 and 91. Because I think Wait. they tried to put out both movies 91, in the same it's year. 91. It's 91. It's 91. It's, it's in the so, description. What do we have? Yeah. So for do for ninety one, the the effects are still on point. Um, the turtles' design is a little bit different because they're supposed to be more like colorful and you know cartoonish and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Th those effects are still on point. So that's number. So that's that's the first thing I really really dug about the film was that the effects were on point. The suits were on point. 
Second thing, the subway scene. When when they when they arrive at the new home, which is the mm-hmm. old abandoned sub, that was cool. Mm-hmm. I dug that. You know, when they light it up for the first time, um, like all of that, like I, I thought that was a really cool set. Really, really cool. That's about it. All right, all right, <laughs> all right. What I didn't like about it, uh-huh. honestly, was the fact that it was so kiddie. That that was the big thing because I like that first film so much. And and here's the thing: I'm not saying you can't have both, but if that was the case, why didn't we just get an animated film? Since y'all were doing the the, the animated series anyway, mm-hmm. you see what I mean? Yeah. So uh, that's that's my biggest complaint with this movie is that they took it in such a yeah, so just such a watered down, child friendly direction. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. Yeah. So in terms of a rating, I actually agree with Hannibal and Monty on this one. D plus is where I was with this. Wow. <laughs> Damn. Holy shit, man. Look, y'all. We need to get to Constantine and tell him that hell done froze over. <laughs> oh shit. I listen, if you would have asked me what I thought, I definitely that I thought I definitely thought, thought everybody was gonna be mad at us. <laughs> live action animation is very upset with us right now. Live action animation, LA Anime is a huge Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles fan, and I know she is very upset with all of us for that. Hey. Kino Kanu says, "I got your but back, this Larry." Isn't even, this isn't even the best. This isn't even the best Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie, though. Yeah. Here's the thing: you have the '90s series, right? You have the '90s film. You have TMNT, the the 07 CG film, yeah. right? And then you got Turtles Forever, which is the animated film from, what was that, 20, no, 09, I think, 09. Yeah. Yeah. We got three films better than this one. Yeah, like, look, look, and all of us, all of us said, including Vapion, how much we love this movie. Like, nobody, nobody hates this movie. I'm just like, but if you compare this, like, look, and look, I I saw a lot of y'all grades coming in, okay? And let, let's see, let's see what I'm just because I'm, I'm just I want to go back through this real fast just to like live action animation gave it a B minus, which I'm gonna come, I'm gonna come back to you, baby sister. All right, hold up. Tio <laughs> says he's gonna give it a strong C minus. Uh, R. Asriel says he's giving it a B because of nostalgia, right? Billy, I don't see your grade, Bill Fridge. If you're still hanging out, give us your grade. Heather Holden just gave it a B minus. American Nightmare gave it a C plus. R. Uh, uh, Shit, uh, Mouton gave it a B. OG Ben Grimm said maybe a C. Dewan Patterson Powers gave it a B minus. Destruction ain't gave it a C. Look, y'all are all judging on nostalgia. I love y'all. I do. And they ain't got nothing to do with quality. It's, but yeah. it's like, you mean to tell me that if you take Teenage Mutant Turtles 2 Secret of the Ooze and you put that shit next to Blade, you feel like those two movies is equal? Like, nah. no. No, they're not. And, I, and and Blade is way way better than that. It just that's my point is just like like somebody's being disliked. And I get it. I love the movie too. I I I I was watching this movie like at one point when this movie came out, this movie was so good to me at the time that I went from being an MC Hammer fan to a Vanilla Ice fan. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, yeah. I was like, Never what that. I gotta put in my head to make my shit do that? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know that? Never that. Yeah. Never that. You know, that's it. I just, I'm just saying, it was great. But like, the and and look, this movie isn't what it should have been because the studio and John Vice and a couple other people pointed this out, and Vapion also said this thing, and I appreciate you for uh, pointing this out, Vapion said that look, the studio got involved and was like, you know what? The, the a lot of parents was like, we don't like that the ninjas is doing all this ninja stuff. Okay, so they complained, and in the movie studio was like, "All right, well, in the next movie, they're not going to use any weapons." So that's why they don't use any weapons in the movie. Yeah, you know that's trash. It's the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. It's like you know, what I'm saying like Donatello got you know they won't even let him use a bow staff. You know what I'm saying? He can't even hit a nigga with a broomstick. Like, come on, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And all the ninjas was white. Let's just talk about that too. <laughs> They're they in New York City. You mean to tell me they couldn't find no Puerto Rican ninjas? Okay. Yeah. Look, I thought I thought I thought the D plus. I thought that what 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 did the graphic say with D plus? What was the description of the D plus under? What did it say? <laughs> that, it's terrible. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah, better, it's, it's better than terrible. Yeah, it's better than terrible. Yeah, yeah. It's not you see? terrible. 
See? It is better than terrible. Yeah. And, and I tell you what, I tell you what, on a good night with enough drinks in me, I could tolerate the argument of a C minus. I could see someone successfully mm -hmm. yeah. arguing a C minus. Yeah. 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 And look, this is one of the things coming with the ultimate comic book movie list on the show. I'm going to program the bot so that if enough of you challenge grades, there will be challenge grades, and we yeah. have to watch that movie over again. Yeah, so before we can stick to our grade, we would we would have to rewatch the. Yeah. And we thought about this for a couple reasons. One, because we've had guests come on the show which is, that just be completely wrong, and they've been instantly... <coughs> Godless <laughs> Engineer! <coughs> ben Collinsworth! Yeah. <laughs> I, love it. I love both of y'all. I love both of y'all. Yeah, I no, God, I really look, do. God, Godless Engineer, you got some grades wrong, bro. Like straight yeah. up. I love you though. I love you. He he, he thought there was only a, a half percentage point between Black Panther and Spawn. Okay. Yeah. 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 yeah no. No. Like those those movies is equal. Like shut the whole. Fuck. He uh. He was wrong on that. Um, yeah. He was very wrong on that. Yeah. 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 One of those movies is good. One of those movies is Spawn. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I'm like, look, yeah. GE, GE, we love you. But you next time you're on the show, I will openly call you out. Hannibal will try to be nice, but I'm going to be the one that's like, hold up, hold up. You fucked up our Black Panther grade. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's the reason that Black... But look, it's, it's all good. It's all good because yeah. I, I, I'm all about, you know, like I'm, I'm all about representation. So it is yeah. what it is. So we, yeah, we and also, to, also, let me know in the chat, what do y'all think? Are the grades, and I gotta remember which way to point in this setup, are the grades this popping way. up right? Is it way. is it working over there as we're grading? Is it working the way they pop up on the screen? Let me know, critique this shit as we go. Let me know how it works. So look, I, I, I got, I wanna I wanna ask a couple questions to everybody watching the show and every, to our guests, to, to Vape Beyond hanging out with us, to Larry from OAW, to you Monty, everybody watching. Um, one of the ideas that I'm pitching you know, is, and I, I think I want to call it like, you know, like the editor's seat or the editor's station or editor's choice. Basically, it'll be, you know, cut it or keep it. I'm going to talk about a specific scene in the movie, and we talk about we feel like the movie, you know, should have been cut from the movie or kept in the movie. Yeah. To, to, to enhance or subtract from the movies. All right. Yeah. So here we go. First, this is the first, this is a test. Cut it or keep it. Okay. All right? Okay. So we do cut it or keep it. Here we go. Uh, uh, cut it and cut it or keep it. Taka and Ro uh, Taka and Razor's ca costume design. Cut it or keep it. Um, cut, cut Toka, keep Razor. Razor's the the snapping turtle, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Razor yeah. is. Uh, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. The 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 wolf looks looks terrible. The snapping turtle looks awesome. Keep that's it. that's my opinion. What about y'all? Okay. Keep it. Larry keep it. saying keep it. Uh, Vape beyond. Where, where you at? Vape beyond. I I I like them both. I think I think they're they're fine. They're not the greatest thing. They're. I wouldn't put I wouldn't put them in like a top ten Ninja Turtles enemies, but they're <laughs> yeah. they're fine. All right. And and look look let me let me let me go into this real quick. This is something I want to talk about. Um that I was hoping would come up in the discussion that hasn't. How do y'all feel about the doctor that they use that worked for whatever the TG, TG, TGIF, TGI Fridays? TGRI. Yeah, TGRI. Yeah. Why, why, why the fuck wasn't he Baxter Stockman? Okay, can, I, can, I can answer that question. Okay. The reason he wasn't Baxter Stockman is the uh, uh, the original creators of Teenage Mutant Turtles did not want it to be so directly connected to the cartoon, so they didn't want to use Baxter Stockman, they didn't want to use Krang, they didn't want to use any of that shit. So what the movie studio did was they just had the d director that they hired, they was like, hey, make something like Rocksteady and Bebop. Make somebody like D Baxter Stockman. Yeah. And then that's what you got. So and the look, doctor that you got was basically the the di the dollar store version of Baxter Stockman. But Tom Toka and Razar are, are the dollar store version, the you Bebop know, the dollar Rocksteady, general yeah. version of of uh, uh Rocksteady and Bebop. But how awesome would it have been with Toka and Razar and that guy being Baxter Stockman, but he never turns into the fly. That would have been cool. 
I'd have like, been. I think the child me would have been mad as hell that he never turned into a fly. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. And also, for the record, I'm going cut Toka and Raza's, uh, uh cat. I don't think you need either one of them in the movie. And I'm gonna tell. And it's not that the design was bad, as I don't. I actually don't think the design of either was bad. Yeah. But I think the designs aren't bad in context of their universe, right? That's what like I'm when you yeah. when you watch uh, Labyrinth. Right, which is one of my favorite movies. David Bowie, Jennifer Connelly, right? They they're in this mystical world where everybody and everything is puppets except for Jennifer Jennifer Connelly and David Bowie. When yeah. you see those character designs in that world, it's perfect. It makes fucking sense. Yeah. When you see when you see these characters in that world, it looks weird and gross. And that and that's all it was. It was just you know, I, I, you know, that, that, and that—that's why I'm like, yeah, just get rid of both of them. I don't think they needed either of them in the movie for that movie to uh, to work. You know, you could just bring back Shredder, bring back the foot. You know what I'm saying? But it's just like, no, we gotta have him fight some you know other what? mutants. Okay, but if that, but if that's, but if that's the case, you don't have a plot. Why would Shredder want the ooze if he wasn't trying to create mutants of his own? And yeah. Not? Okay. First, first off, plot. Did you not watch the movie that I watched? Michelangelo <laughs> <laughs> was fighting niggas in the beginning of the tour. He was fighting niggas in the beginning. Like, Michelangelo was fighting a nigga in the beginning of the movie at KB Toy Store. K- KB Toys with sausage links. Yeah. Okay? Fuck we talking about plot for. True. True. You know what I'm saying? This shit was a Saturday morning cartoon. And the Saturday morning cartoon kidding me wouldn't have given a fuck about that shit. True. Because I wasn't, look, you know, like I said, that shit made me, for like a brief moment in history, feel like Vanilla Ice was superior to MC Hammer. Okay? Yeah, th- this movie fucked with you. All right, all right. Yeah, yeah clearly, because he just said Vanilla Ice was superior to MC Hammer, so. Yeah, I, well, no, I said, for a brief, for a brief, okay, so look, for, first off, kids are stupid. I used to, I used to eat glue, all right? So I just, you can't, you can't, you can't go based off of what the child me said. No. <laughs> To, to go on your segment, here's a scene that I'll, I'll ask you if you should cut it or keep. Okay, so the second the second man to Shredder goes and gets the ooze, right? And then the turtles show up. So the ninjas of our, or the Foot Clan have already left, and then the turtles show up, and then the Foot Clan come back to fight the turtles. Like, they've already left. They could have been gone with the ooze, and then they almost lose the ooze to the turtles yes. in that fight. And then yes. the guy's like, he has a spoke bomb, and he's like, Ninja vanish. And I was like, what, Ninja, why'd you show back up? Yes! <laughs> yes! Vapion, thank you! Thank you, because I noticed that too! Like, why Why did y'all sneak in? Thank you, Vapion. Thank you. Uh... Yes! <laughs> yes! Yeah, I, as I was watching that scene again, I was just like, why are y'all still here? Just leave. Y'all got the ooze. Why y'all... Is, the, whole, the whole scene is... Re- oh, yeah, same thing. I just... But... I would say keep that scene because it, it, it stays in line with the cartoonish foolishness that is that movie. Oh, all right, all right. Sorry, I, I just had ideas for how this segment works. All yeah, right, yeah, all right, never let, mind. Let, what, you, what do you think? The, the scene where they get the ooze from TC, what is it, TGI Fridays? Where'd they get it from? From T, let's just call it TGI Fridays from here. Okay. On. They it's TGRI. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. This is not difficult. <laughs> Okay. And you know what's embarrassing about it? I didn't even rewatch the damn movie for this review. <laughs> I'm going off of memory. <laughs> damn shame. <laughs> damn shame. Uh, uh, and good job, Zoe, cutting to Larry while he's giving us the disapproving head shake. Yeah. Good job. Yeah. Good job. Uh, look, I got, I, got, I got another one for y'all real fast. <laughs> Cut it to keep it. Oh, wait, and I, I want to get to some of the ones in the chat, too, because there was a couple people who said some things. Uh, let's see. Uh, Dewan Patterson Powers, when I asked you, we cut or keep to, uh, Toka and Razor's uh, 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 costume design. He said, cut it. Tito Canoe says, cut both. Shit, mutant, mutant. So is that supposed to be mutant? I don't know. I don't know, but... Look, this dude has been watching all of our old shit. Look, yeah. shit, Muton, Muton. I don't know how to pronounce your name. Go, go, go ahead and sub to uh, the Ultimate Comic Book Movie List. I'm channel. sure shit, Muton has already so says cut the design as well. Uh, Destruction Inc. says he was a coyote, not a wolf. 
I want you to know that. I've never seen a pet coyote. I've never seen a baby coyote before. I had to take your word for it. Ben Meredith agrees with you, Monty. He says, keep the turtle, lose the furry. That's <laughs> See, Ben Meredith knows what's up. That's hilarious. Uh, R. Azriel said, cut both. Uh, Bebop and Rocksteady are better. And Fabarino said, nom noms. <laughs> Nom noms, yes. Yeah. It's also, can we just talk about that scene? It was like they get the they 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 get the the the, the ooze tablets or whatever that t- is supposed to turn them back into you know revert them to their natural state. They they bake it in some donuts and then these baby animals is like, man, you trying to poison me? <laughs> some, somebody wrote that script. Right, yeah. and, and shared it with a room full of executives, and they all was like, "Yeah, this is this is a good idea. Let's keep this in the movie." Yeah, Druid Lover also said that we should cut that uh, scene as well. All right, next cut it to keep it. Uh, I got how much time we got left on this movie, Monty? Two minutes. Two minutes. Right, I got I got time for one more. Um. Uh. Okay. Let's let's just do it. Cut it to keep it. Vanilla, the, the whole dance club scene with Vanilla Ice and the Turtles, and then after the Turtles beat up the Foot Clan, they just break out into a, a spontaneous dance routine. You mean that, this scene all around us? Keep yes, it, this keep scene it right there. Right there, okay? Keep, keep with, it. With, with, with way too much uh, Rob Van Winkle pelvis thrusting. That scene right there. Cut it or keep it. Everybody in the chat let us know. Vapion, Larry, Monty, what do you guys think? Keep, keep it. it. Keep it. Keep it. Yeah. Keep it. Yeah, you gotta it keep adds, it. Like it adds to the charm of the movie. <laughs> <laughs> you've already at this point you've already watched four turtles who are known for their weapons not use their weapons. And then you've watched the shredder go, Babies, they're babies. Great uh, yeah, great scene. Vanilla ice is fine. <laughs> yes, yes, and look, look, Chet Lemon pointed out the main reason to keep it, because Splinter's last funny, I made another funny. Go, Ninja, go, Ninja, go! Come on, come on, we need it, we need it. I feel like I'm pe- I'm being peer pressured into agreeing right now. Look, but... we have to have it, because this is this is where they succeeded in writing this movie. The Turtles were all about wanting to be out in the open. They show up, and Vanilla Ice is like, oh, shit, Turtles, Ninja Turtles, I'm going to write a song on the spot. All of my backup dancers are going to instantly know the choreography. <laughs> Watch this. Turtles, this is for you. What else are they going to do but get on stage? Because this is what they want. And then it pays off at the end when Splinter's Look, like, go, Ninja, the, the, go, Ninja, go. The funny thing is, if you'd have just changed your tone of voice, that could have been a what's eating Hannibal just now. Because <laughs> they walk into a club fighting the Foot Clan, and then Vanilla Ice is like, hey, hold up, hold up, man. This shit's looking kind of dangerous. But man, those turtles is giving me a dope idea for a song. Now I'm about to freestyle. Hey, DJ, drop a fat beat. Because that's, you know that's what he said, right? Drop, drop a fat beat. <laughs> And then he's like, yeah, I got this choreography. Hey, guys, just follow my lead. Because that's how dancing works. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So you're like, no, man, it's some bullshit. Yeah, yeah. And Kilo says foul because Vanilla Ice should never be fair. There you go. <laughs> All Asriel says that scene is one of the reasons I gave it a B. <laughs> damn, damn. All right, all right. So is it that yeah, Tito Canoe says so trash. Uh, he says he says cut it up like dope. <laughs> <laughs> And then and, the turtles had their own dance scene. <coughs> neck swinging and fucking in their eyes. Like, what's going on, man? Come on, man. The niggas don't got no weapons, but they got dance moves. Like, shut up. But, but Hannibal, in all fairness, mm-hmm. they are the green machines. They mm-hmm. were here to rock the town without being seen. Have you ever, have you ever seen a turtle get down? Oh, my God. Are, are you quoting the lyrics? <laughs> the song, man? That's fine. We got to move on to that. Look, just, right now, it's looking like, oh, and live action animation wanted to uh, uh, correct me. It wasn't, uh, uh, it wasn't the, the, when they, when they fed the ooze to Toka and Razar, it was ice cubes. Yes. It wasn't ice coffee. cubes and donuts. 
Yes, ice ice cubes and donuts. That you you thank you for correcting me because that makes way less sense <laughs> now. All right, all right. Well, so let's you. let's go to the next movie. So the, right. so we're ready. The next movie is Constantine, and I think Larry picked this. Larry picked this. So, so ahead, Larry. Larry. Let's, let's, I've been waiting for Larry to give his review on this movie. I cannot wait to see what it is. 2005's Constantine starring uh, the man of, like, he has over three different personality types of characters he can play in movies. Keanu Reeves and Constantine. Yes. Larry from, Larry from OAW. Go, I love the producer Zoe. Go full screen with Larry. Larry, what'd you think about Constantine? Talk to us about it, brother. Well, this was the movie I recommended. I like Constantine. I don't know what y'all problem is. I think it's good. I think hey, it's good we, we haven't even got into it yet. What did you I, like? I, what did you hate? Who is it for? Come on, let's go. Let's talk. Okay. Let's talk. All right. Okay. Don't uh, rush me, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, damn it. Okay. All right. I'm going to back oh, off. I'm back uh, off. I'm going to sit Const back. So, back. Constantine, um, 2005 adaptation of the Hellblazer yes. uh, um, comic that it is loosely inspired by, because this is very much an American um, rendition of it. But yeah, I mean, um, Constantine, it's a good film. Um, better, you know what? I'll go ahead and I'll make this argument. The film is actually better than it has any right to be. Okay. Honestly. Okay. Honestly. Um, but the effects are really good. The script's actually a lot smarter then I think it gives it even itself credit for. Okay. Um, what they managed to do in terms of characterization in such a short period of time, especially with John, I think is really good. Mm -hmm. um, so what I, okay, so what I liked, let me see, what I liked most about Constantine, the third, the fucking third act, dude, that, that, because I went, I remember seeing it opening weekend. I think I went opening night when it first came out. Yeah. And dude, like, you know, I'm watching the movie and I'm like, okay, you know, this movie's fine, whatever, da 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 da. Dude, when Lucifer showed up at the end, bruh, I was like, okay, that one scene sold the whole damn movie for me. That scene was phenomenal. Mm. That scene was, that's easily my favorite scene in the movie. Easily. Okay. Always has been. Always has been. Okay. Um, some of the other stuff, though, some of the iconography, I think it's really good. The whole. Um, Hell depicted as like this apocalyptic singe Los Angeles I thought was really cool um, the way the soldier demons were designed I thought that was really cool um, I just wish they went more into the mythology we, we didn't dive into the mythology as much as we could have if there's one negative thing I can say that I didn't like actually yeah that would probably be my big negative for the movie we don't, we don't dive into the uh, the mythology enough because, like, for an example, so the primary antagonist of the film is supposed to be, you know, the devil's son, right? Satan's son or whatever. Mm -hmm. And they use the term Mammon. Well, I don't know. I, I don't know how many other people watching have ever studied Christian demonology. Um, Mammon is not a throwaway name. That's an actual character in that mythos. Yeah. And, it, and none of, like, his name doesn't matter at all in the movie. Because, because it. His character has nothing to do with his mythology counterpart. Yeah. Uh, but just stuff like that. Like, I kind of wish we would have went more into that. I wish we would have went more into the whole thing with the balance. Because because we know there's, you know, we know there's that, um, yeah. I mean, that's what they call it, right? The balance. Yeah. I wish I wish we would have went more into that. Um, some of the other characters I wish we would have explored, like Papa Midnight. I wish we could have dove into his character a little bit more. Um, but all in all, I think, I mean, like I said, solid film, my grade, and I know these motherfuckers getting ready to cast a stone, so come with it, B minus. D minus? B minus. B minus. Okay. B minus. Okay. Larry, 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 you are a very interesting guy, man. You know what? Okay. Just, just okay. when I think I know a motherfucker, a motherfucker surprises me, and I'm like, man, I don't know shit. Hold up, real quick. What does C plus say? Cause B minus said almost really good. What does C plus say? C plus C plus is C plus is almost good. Wait, wait, better than average, right? No, C plus is almost good. Is that what I put? Almost, almost good. Okay. Oh, C plus. Yeah, C plus is almost good. B minus is almost really good. Yeah. So is it almost good or is it almost really good? I'm a. No, I'm, I'm gonna stick with mine. B minus. 
almost really good. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Yeah. All right, Vapion. What says it, brother? From the from the from the chat to the show. Go, Zoe. Go full screen with Vapion. Vapion. What did you think of 2005's Constantine? Well, the grade this this has been uh, said a lot tonight is a D plus. I uh, I had a hard time finding anything that I liked about this movie. I actually was like, I guess Papa Midnight is cool. Everything else, I was like. Mm, not for me. Like, they don't really tell you why Constantine is a uh, a badass. Or Keon, like, did you say B plus or D plus? I think you said D plus. D plus. D plus. Okay. I, yeah, I was. Uh, I I thought there there was just too many characters, and it's like they need the they need a staff, they need a, a psychic. It's like they're like forming this weird puzzle to bring. The uh, the son of the devil, but and then like Lucifer is just like some like slimy white guy in a white suit. Like, <laughs> I mean, it's he's creepy, but not in the way you want Lucifer to be creepy. He's like creepy in the you know, like call the cops and be like, we don't want to watch that guy because yeah. he, he's, he's creepy. Like man, like that guy's way too close to that elementary school creepy. Yeah, 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 exactly. But I mean, I I liked it better than I thought I would, which is saying something. I thought I was like, because um, I I've never seen this movie. I when it first came out, I was like, it did not look good to me. Like, I was I was not high on Keanu Reeves after The Matrix. Uh, it took me until John Wick to actually like Keanu Reeves again. Mm-hmm. All but, right, fair enough. I was, yeah. No, that's all fair. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm, I'm with it. Um, yeah. So fair great. Um, interesting. Inter. Look, look at Larry's face. I love it. <laughs> oh, oh, we're we're gonna discuss. Like, let, let's. Oh let, yeah, we we we, look, we let's, go. Let's let I'm Hannibal go through his, and I'm gonna. I'm yeah. I'm pretty sure. I'm yeah. gonna lead into the discussion. I'm gonna leave with my grave when I start, but uh. Yeah. Real but, quick before Hannibal goes, uh, I can't see you guys on Skype. I just see a black screen. Really? Yeah, yeah I saw you guys earlier, but then I clicked off of it, and I can't. Yeah, you, I, I don't use Skype. Yeah, you should be seeing the share. I don't know how to guide you to see it, but we're sharing a screen, and you should see it. Larry, are you seeing it? The shared screen? If yeah, not, I, I can see it. Yeah, if not, I can have Zoe reshare it. We we might have to. Yeah, no, I if, can see it. I can see it. All right. Like, we, we might have to, depending on what it is, baby, you might have to drop out and then jump back in. And then, yeah. Yeah, I'll, yeah I'll look. Do, I'll do that real quick. Yeah, quickly. when Hannibal goes full screen, drop out and jump back in. So, Hannibal, let's talk about Constantine. Okay. Okay. Um, and and his, I'll, I'll look, look at my fro blends into the fire, fire and shit. Oh, oh man, that's, that's kind of that's, 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 that's <laughs> kind of dope. <laughs> hot, hot head <laughs> needs cool water. Yes, so. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Uh, uh, I, 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 I get, I'm gonna give, I give fifty points. So whoever tell me what movie, movie, movie that came from. Anyway, anyway. oh, oh this is echo. Echo. Are we? Are we echoing? My my. Yep. 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 Yo. Not just me. Yep. Yo, it's fixed. Yo. It's fixed. There She's go. got it. All right. It's always a boss. She be fixing that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like that's why the shit show isn't a. Oh. Anyway. Um. I, I look, look. Listen. The irony is, I actually agree with Larry and Vapion. Like I, I understand what both people are saying. Yeah. Um. I think. Um. And 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 Monty and I had a an a interesting conversation about this. Uh, film. So you know, I'm curious. Wait, is the echo back now? Let me know. Hold on, wait. Let me know. No, it should. It should be gone. Yeah. It should it's be good. Gone. It's good. Good. All right. All right. It's back. Okay. It's gone. Okay. Good deal. Look. Um. Look. I thoroughly enjoy the Constantine movie. Um. And then afterwards, I had talked with Monty, and Monty brought up some interesting points. And I was like, you know what? You got a good point. Like the 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 the, the like the visual. Like so, someone who was raised Catholic. I'm really into like movies that get into like, you know, uh, the 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 fantasy of religion. 
Like movies that Check are based in like the screen. fantasy of religion, those movies just they 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 do something to me on a level that just I don't know. It just it speaks to my soul. I don't know what it is about them. It's just awesome. I love Kevin Smith's Dogma. You know, I used to watch Moral Oral on a regular basis. Like I love them shits, man. Them shits is fucking great. When people speculate about Christianity and faith, and God, Catholicism, Judaism, that shit is awesome. You know what I'm saying? I think that shit is dope as hell. I think it's a great backdrop for a movie. Um, the thing about Constantine is it's like you're joining a, a story that's already in progress. This is like watching part three of a five part series. So it's like we're already supposed to know Papa Midnight and we're already supposed to know Shia LaBeouf's character. We're already supposed to know Father Hennessy. We're, we're already supposed to know Beeman and kind of what their relationship is and whether or not you go into the <coughs> movie and like like this movie like whether you like or hate this movie is gonna be based on I think whether you can whether you accept or reject that premise. It's like you join this movie already in progress. Do you get who these people are or do you be like, no, nah, I need more information? Um, I didn't need enough, any more information. I thought it was exactly what it was. But I mean, I, I got exactly what it was and I kept it moving. But there are people that you would like to know more about. Um, so I understand it. Look, the thing I, uh, I, I dislike the most about this movie, and it's actually small. Um, well, no, no, I love, let me know. I'm, I'm going no, to skip that because I was initially going to talk about the bug creature, the, the vermin creature, whatever. I just thought the design on that shit was trash. But the biggest thing is that like it feels like you're joining the story already in progress. The thing I actually loved most about it is some of the conversations that they have in the movie, specifically the conversations between uh, John Wick and the angel Gabriel. I mean, uh, Constantine and, and the angel Gabriel. There's a scene in that movie where he's just like, look, the, the reason you're dying is because you smoked 30 packs of cigarettes a day since you was 13. The reason you're going to hell is because you killed yourself. You're basically fucked. And then just yeah. walked off. I, Tilda Swinton is fantastic as Gabriel. I like Gavin Rosdale as Balthazar. Uh, Jamon Hansu can do no wrong in my book. Um, I, and, and yeah, I, I enjoyed this movie. So like Larry, I am also giving this movie a B minus. Oh, another B minus. Okay, yes. okay. Yes. I'm also. I was, I was surprised when he said B minus, and I was. I was actually going to give it a B plus for a while, and then I thought about it, and I said I. I want to be fair with my grading, and I looked at what the movie was. You know, for the 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 pieces that it is. I looked at the acting, the set design, the the fact that the special effects are 15 years old and they still kind of hold up today is awesome. Um. You know, and and look, I I like the story, and I th and I think the end the end result, like the end conversation with Constantine talking to the the slimy devil, because I agree with what Vapion said, and I feel like I'm about to agree with what Monty says. You know, I might not agree with his grade, but I I think I'm gonna agree with his perspective. Um, but yeah, I like I like yeah, I gave it a B minus. That's that's it. I think it was almost really good. I think they were they were there, but it was just. There's a, a couple issues that I think this is a movie that would have been better if it was 20 minutes longer to dedicate some of that time to characters. And they didn't do that in this movie. Um, and they should have. So, okay. Monty. Zoe, go full screen with Monty. Let's do it. Welcome. Welcome. Okay. Okay. And also, also, y'all can't be shitheads on this channel. What are we calling fans of the Ultimate Comic Book Movie list? Throw some suggestions in the chat. Get our brains going in a direction. So it doesn't say fucking chat right there. That looks mm -hmm. stupid. I want I want a name for this. But uh so um Constantine. Constantine, Constantine, Constantine. I avoided this movie when it came out in theaters. And I just recently watched it. And real real quick, why'd you avoid it? Because I, I I didn't care. I didn't care. I wasn't a fan of Constantine before, and I really didn't give a shit about this type of movie. Mm -hmm. like, I just don't want to. Not gonna. So I didn't. Um, but I... Uh, so I, I avoided this, and uh, when this came up, I had to sit down and watch it. Um... In watching it, watching it, what I liked about it, what I actually absolutely loved about it was shit like what you see behind me. This movie was fucking beautiful. 
the scene where he kills the fucking demon with the mirror fucking beautiful like it's visually this movie is fucking incredible i absolutely loved it 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 was fucking amazing like the visuals the the idea for the movie was really good but what i didn't like was the execution of that idea i really think they failed i think this movie needed one more draft by one person who actually sat down and read the entire script of the movie that they were working on because this movie fails in a lot of areas like larry pointed out his favorite scene the lucifer scene the lucifer scene was really cool i didn't like the guy that played lucifer i didn't like his his lucifer it, it seemed out of place in this but that scene would have been a lot stronger had somebody read the entire script and said oh you know what lucifer's gonna come in at this point and sort of wrap the whole story up so maybe at some point earlier on we should show who lou is and play a little mystery like that there's your opportunity if you are writing this story to go you know when constantine's walking out of that i don't know why this lab exists lab that tells him he has lung cancer when he's walking out of there what if lou's sitting there with no shoes on and he's talking shit about his cancer and he's just lou and you're like who the fuck is lou and you move on then lou shows up and it's lucifer that's a reveal rather than Oh, this is the devil. A guy we've never fucking seen before. Why? Why is this happening? What the fuck? Why 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 are we why are we ghosting ghosting the machining this right now? Why is this fucking happening? It's stupid. It makes no sense and it it takes points off the movie. That and the scene where Shia LaBeouf dies and he says that one line that John Constantine said to him only two scenes earlier. Which makes that line fucking meaningless. It means nothing to me. John just said that to you. And now you're going to repeat it to him? No. you. It, it, it's, like, it's like you're hitting on a girl in a bar and she says something to you two seconds earlier. And then you repeat it to her like you're being smooth and you just said some shit. No, nigga, she just said it to you. <laughs> you didn't remember anything. You're drunk. You can't remember shit. Say something she said two weeks ago. Now we're talking. If, and, and all this stuff I have solutions for. All they had to do was move that dialogue, which is why I say one writer to rewrite this fucking script after reading the whole thing, move that line to the point where John gets back in the fucking cab with him. When they... After they kill the mirror demon, and I'm going to get to the mirror demon in a second. After they kill the mirror demon, he gets back in the cab, and you establish then that Shia LaBeouf's whatever the fuck his name was, is like, hey, I really want to get out and do it. And John says this isn't like a story or whatever the fuck the line was. He says it to him then. That way, when that character dies, and as he's dying, he says that to him, that shit hits you in the fucking gut. That's what they were going for. They fucking failed at that moment because I felt nothing when it happened because he just fucking said it. It was stupid. And, and, and speaking of that, the cab, the cab in the very beginning, John's driver drives him around in a fucking cab. Okay, nice little thing. I get it. It's cool. Why the fuck is he going to this high-tech lab? Who is this woman? Why is she, why does she have walls of his lung x-ray all over the place how is he how does he have access to all this shit what the fuck is going on you can explain all this shit in little lines of dialogue that you chose to leave out all you wanted to do in this movie is show me cool looking shit which it was cool looking glue it together you glued it together with fucking peanut butter which tastes good if you like peanut butter but if you glue it together with glue everybody can enjoy the shit so, I gave this movie a D plus. This go. movie is definitely not a D plus. This movie is a fucking D plus. This movie is poorly constructed. 
All they had to do was rewrite the motherfucker. It's not almost good because if it was almost good, it would be on fucking screen. I shouldn't have to dissect it to tell you how to make it better. The parts were there. Hire another writer, spend another whatever a writer costs to read the fucking script and rearrange the motherfucker. Stop. No. This movie's pretty. In, there in, is in a the difference. Words. Look, in the words of Frank Miller, there is a difference between between pretty and beautiful. This movie is pretty. Beautiful, it is not. I, I was going to say in the immortal words of Dave Chappelle, oh, hey, hey, hey. No, <laughs> no, look, look. I would give, I would give it to it if, if they had executed it. They failed at what they were trying to do. It didn't work. I disagree. I disagree. It didn't work. Also, you, when you brought up when when you brought when you brought up the whole Lucifer spiel, you didn't have to set up Lucifer early in the movie. You want to know why? Why? Because they because there's a line early in the movie they say he's the only John is the only soul he would come topside to collect himself. Then why the, the fuck? The second you see him in an all white suit, you know exactly who that is. All right. Well, Larry, let me ask you this: Why Thanks. the fuck if John is the only soul? Lucifer would come down himself to see. Why the fuck wouldn't wouldn't Lucifer come to gloat when John has lung cancer? Because John's not dying. John is dying. He's got fucking lung cancer, Larry. But, no, 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 no. But, remember, but, remember, but John the, supposedly cut his wrist to make Lucifer think he was dying so Lucifer could come get him. That's yeah. where the whole line about when he tries to smoke a cigarette, he's like, oh, you know, when you cut the when you cut the tendons. Finger movement goes out the window, yeah. and then John just goes, and that's when Lucifer's like, "Oh well, you didn't do that because he was trying to lure him onto yes. Earth." Yes. So, so John that, did that intentionally. That proves my fucking point. All they needed was a one fucking scene. Lucifer showing up at the end was stupid because we should have seen him. He was pointless to just. He he wasn't a big enough reveal. He really wasn't a big enough reveal to be like, "Oh, oh." What man in a white suit with dirty feet? No, fuck you. Get the fuck out of my face with that. No. No, that's and, that's terrible. And, You're trolling and, right now. You're no, I'm right. not. No, he he's he is so I'm not. Right he he's he's so serious about that right now. But like the the, the and the, the same argument you're making about uh um the, the same argument you're making to justify your grade for uh Constantine, you could have you could justify that for uh, for Wonder Woman as well. Because Wonder Woman suffers the same flaw. Yeah, yeah, I, I would agree with you that. Know, but but you didn't give Wonder Woman no super low ass grade like you did Constantine. I, I would accept that challenge. But this movie had way many more of those. There are many moments in this movie mm. where shit doesn't pay off. This movie is this movie is very very pretty. And people keep mistaking pretty for a good movie. A pretty movie is not a good movie. It's a pretty fucking movie. I, I think this movie... This is coming from a man who likes Man of Steel. Notice what he just said. <coughs> I, I, I also like Man of Steel. I'm Man, not, of, not, Steel not, not, man of Steel worked. Man yeah. of Steel structurally is solid. It was just a pretty fucking movie. Man of Steel... Look, no, we can break down the plot of it. Man of Steel is solid. Let's not, because we already got to talk about this other abomination, so. All right, all right, all right, all right. And, and, and this is what I said, because look, I, I think I think Vapion makes good points. I think Larry makes good points. I think everybody, like, this this movie, and, and I never realized Constantine was one of these either you love it or you hate it movies. I, ne I never thought that it was one of those things. Like, you know, on, on like, at best, I think it, it's on the, on the good side, it's pretty good. On the bad side, it's pretty mediocre. But it's it's like 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 for anybody to give it like like, like it should fall somewhere between that that mid B low C range. But like the the D range or the A range is just like that shit is crazy. No, I, like like if some if, if anyone of y'all have given it an A, because I was expecting Larry to give it an A, and I was like, oh man, he finna get his movie an A. And I'm about to be like, man, we got to fight about this shit. Oh. And, and that's not and. So that's why I'm 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 very surprised at this. Like I'm, and yeah, I like 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 I like I agree with your assessment, Monty. I just don't agree with with a D plus. This is I'm looking at some of the other movies we've given D pluses to. This this movie isn't that. This this movie isn't the Hellboy cartoons. 
Uh, Y'all get those deep buses? The the Hellboy cartoons? Yeah. yeah. They weren't that bad. Yeah, they were. They were they was they was that bad. Yeah, there there were some bad ones. ones. They, they, like they this this movie, like I y'all y'all don't know. Like I, I'm I'm watching this and I as I get to certain points, I'm like, well wait, why why didn't you you, you had an opportunity to set this up, but you just chose not to? Oh, you didn't choose not to. What you did was this movie was rewritten so many fucking times. So many hands were in the fucking pot. Nobody sat down and did one clean read through of the script and said, mm-hmm. oh, all we have to do is shift things a little bit. Now we got a movie. This movie could have been really, really, really good. Keep in mind what that man is saying, because that, 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 some. Somebody record this shit because I want to play that quote. Play, play it back. Play it back. <laughs> the way he said it when we get to fucking BVS. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. All right. Let's, I'm, looking at, I'm looking at the chat to see what everybody said. Uh, and look, I want to see y'all drop y'all grades in the chat if you see Constantine. Let's talk about it. I mean, I know some of y'all dropped y'all grades a while ago, so I want to see. I see John Vices just came in. John Vice says, I gave it a C minus. Instead of a D plus, because I know some of my hate for this movie comes from how much it is not the comic in any major way. Yeah. And yeah. look, I, I appreciate you for making that adjustment, yeah. John Vice, because, you know, like, you're supposed to rate the movie for what the movie is, not yeah. what the comic it is in relation to the comic. You're supposed to, this, like, what is this in the in the world that it it exists in? You know, so let's let's see what else. Yeah, and look, Kilo, Kilo, Kilo says... B minus, make Monty watch it again. Here's a thing y'all will get to do on the new channel. Yeah. If enough of you hit the I'm gonna I'm gonna make it exclamation point challenge in the movie name, mm. y'all will be able to put that. And if enough of you challenge my grade, my grade does not stand on the list. Mm-hmm. Let's see. R. Azrael gave it a, a B minus. Yep, I'm. You know, same. I clearly, I'm in the same page. Let's see what else we got. Give Give Give, give Azrael twenty plunger points. There you go. <laughs> see, <laughs> see, see. <laughs> writing that down, Joe. I, I, I like that. Giving out plunger points to people that are, that agree. And look, John Vice earlier said that uh, he thought that Constantine and Nicolas Cage's Ghost Rider were on the same level. And I asked, that's that's not true, man. Like Constantine is a way better movie than Ghost Rider. You know what yeah, yeah. um, o- I'm O A W Entertainment says. Oh, go ahead, VPR. Go ahead. I am. I, am actually, I actually like Ghost Rider more than I like Constantine. Oh, yeah, I mean, look, I, and look, I, I like, and I, I love Teenage Mutant Turtles Two: Secret of the Ooze. Don't mean it's good though. But Vapion said he liked it. He didn't say it was better. He said he liked oh, it. Oh, I, I, I would not give. I would not give Ghost Rider uh, with the scale. Ghost Rider would not get a good grade. I just. I, but you, you enjoyed like, it it's, more. Yeah, it's, that, it's an enjoyable movie, and nothing wrong with that. <laughs> uh, I want to give plunger points to Faberino because last week he was the first person to figure out that my username is a uh, reference Get to the Pokemon Vaporeon. Yes, yes. I was look at Fab- Faberino be on his shit. Look, oh look, Monty, check this out. Um, OAW Entertainment says Monty is so wrong about this one. You know what, OAW yeah. Entertainment. You, you, Zoe, block OAW Entertainment right now. No, <laughs> no, 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 you're not. No, you're not. All right, see, you know what? Not, you know what? See, because you, cause, cause you started shit. Not, hey, to, to Zoe the Magnificent. Yes. If you are listening, which I know you are, yes. you're the producer of the show. Zoe, I shared an image in the Skype chat that I would like for you at this moment in time, to please post on the screen. Okay, oh, let's, here it comes. Let's, let's, here it comes. She's setting it, it up. I see you're right. getting shit together. Oh, I'm shit. I want to explain to the people what they're about to see. Okay. So, <laughs> right, here we ladies, go. Here we ladies go. and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen of the audience, for those of you all who are faithful shit show watchers, y'all will remember oh, that shit. about a month or so ago, I was dropping a whole bunch of super chats <laughs> for some money rotting. <laughs> and this son of a bitch only did one. You know what? And when I called him out on it, he was like, well, uh, show me the receipt. <laughs> well, guess what, Monty? Ah, look at it. Look, look at it. Look, look at shit. the receipts. Shit. 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 So, look, so. Uh, if, if 
uh, uh, uh -huh. ladies and gentlemen of the audience, uh -huh. Exhibit A, if you would yeah. now point your attention to Exhibit A, uh -huh. you can see the dates <laughs> of the transactions in question, uh -huh. which was July 16th of 2020, which there was a shit show on July 16th of 2020. There was. There was. Yes. Every one of those super chats. There was. Was pledged by yours truly, OAW <laughs> Entertainment. Yes. Yeah. There, there was only one Monty Rodica, and it was the one that ha Hannibal provided. Yes. That Monty read on camera. The other five, he owes me. <laughs> this nigga's spitting. <laughs> so, Fuck. so is the magnificent and the magnanimous, if you will. Can I, can I have, can I have the screen, please? There you go. There you go. <laughs> so, because Monty, because Monty started with me. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Shit. I'm gonna stick the shitheads on you. Shit. I will give a hundred plunges points of peace <laughs> to the first five people who hit Hannibal up with Mon with Monty Rodica for Monty to read. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Yes, I love it. I love it. I oh, love it. I love it. oh, fuck y'all both. And, fuck and you know both. what? Just, just because I want you to make it Constantine related. <laughs> right to Constantine <laughs> related <laughs> Monty Rodica. For that's shitting on, for shitting on this good ass movie, Monty. <laughs> damn. And, oh, damn. And, and before I'm finished, before I'm finished, because <clears throat> Monty started with me, and I told you I was gonna be some shit tonight. <laughs> I'm about look. I, hey, hey, bro. I'm tr I'm triggering Monty all night. Oh. I'm, I'm fixing to trigger Monty all night. Oh nigga. shit! I'm <laughs> triggering all night. Because you brought up, because you brought my school up in your <laughs> in, in in your stream the other night. Hey, my school ha now, Hannibal did mouth. that. Hannibal did that. No, not me. I, you know, I'm fond of people. I dated a girl that went to Warren. Why would I be shitting on? <laughs> His school. Why would I do that, Monty? Hannibal brought up your school. Hannibal, Larry. Hannibal did it. Hannibal. Tell, tell, uh, uh, L.A. You don't mm. want it. You don't want it. <laughs> you don't want it. We, we, we don't need no McDonald's Thirty Five Warren Eastern beef in the chat. Okay. Yes. You don't yes. want it. You don't. Hey, uh, L.A. L L L you don't want it. I I I, I ain't like these upstanding gentlemen uh, above me. I I I'll I'll give fuck you a girl. I'll tell you straight up. <laughs> I, 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 just, I do not hold my tongue. I don't give a fuck you female. I don't give a fuck you pregnant. I don't give a fuck you Christian. Can, can we do it? I, I want to do some, I want to do some cutting the keepers. Monty, how much time we got left on cut? Do we got time or we got to move on? We we don't have time on this one. All right. <laughs> okay. uh, on. Real, real quick to add to what Larry said, I did a quick Google search. Um, some Constantine love interests in the comics are Zatanna, um, King mm -hmm. Shark, um, Sarah Lance in the Arrowverse. Mm -hmm. So there you go. There's three people right there that you can write erotic no, fiction ba about. No, Vapion, you stop it. What, yeah. Whose side are you on, Vapion? Come on. Look, 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 wait, did you say like, definitely shark? somebody? Yeah, somebody. Yeah, he, some uh, he, had a, he had a gay relationship with King Shark in one of the animated <sighs> movies. Yeah. So, yeah. So, look. Constantine, like, so look, Monty is Constantine. Monstantine. Mo Montesine, right? No. So, no. like, Monty, John Montesine, right? And Zatanna, who's a white woman, and King Shark, okay? Because I heard Monty likes his blowjobs a little too. <laughs> <laughs> so, like I said, so real quick, real quick, like I said, 100 plunger points to the first five people who hit Hannibal up with some Monty Rodica, oh, yes. and Monty to read, yes. and while I'm at it, um, L.A. is your school even still there no anymore? Uh -oh. Damn! Uh -oh. Damn! All right, uh -oh. all right, Hannibal. Uh -oh. Hannibal. Does your school even <laughs> exist anymore? <laughs> see, see, you, you see what this has turned into. See what this has turned into. Let's go to the next movie. Let's talk <laughs> some Deadpool. Let's talk some Deadpool. Yes. Here Deadpool we go. Was, Deadpool was my pick. Yes. So uh, Hannibal, it, it's it's on you. Take it away. Yes. All right. Um. <laughs> and look, if we all send in that Monty Rodica, you can send it to me on Instagram, you can send it to me on Twitter, you can send it to me on Facebook, you can send it to me on and look, I'm gonna even go ahead and check Discord 
So if y'all send it to me on Discord, I'll be there. I, I'm never on Discord, but I'm checking it now just to make sure if anybody sends in some Monty Rodica, I get it, and I can make sure that it gets read. And how many did you pay for, Larry, real quick? Five. It's five, five okay. that you didn't do. Five. Okay, so the, the first five people to send me Monty Rodica, all right? And look, what I always <laughs> suggest you do is just go on Google, just get online, search any erotic literature, right? And fan fan fiction or whatever, and then just copy and paste it, and then just change day names to Marty. You name, you know what I'm saying? That's how. You, there you go. <laughs> yes, and then yeah, or you can send it in stream lab, or you can send it in stream yeah, yeah. That's cool. yeah. If you uh, want to oh, send Lord it, Lord Demarcus already sent one. There we go. Uh, do you have yeah, the? Uh, and look, real quick, while, while I'm at it, let me, let me go ahead and knock these the out too. John Fye, is it on here? John Fye sent us some money. He said, have some money. You can't compare every movie to every movie of all time. Movies have different purposes, is intention, and audiences. The uh, first question should be, was the movie successful at what it was trying to be? This wanted to be a live cartoon. And you know what, John Vice? I, 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 I totally disagree with you. <laughs> One, <laughs> like 100%. It'd be like, be like, oh, well, you can't compare this kid's movie to that kid's movie because, like, all kids' movies aren't meant to be good kids' movies. You know, except Pixar movies, which find a way to be, like, Academy Award-nominated great films and suitable for children. Like, these movies could... Like, look, there's nothing wrong with liking a bad movie. I'm a huge fan of Roland Emmerich movies. That nigga makes garbage, okay? And I love 2012. I love Independence Day. I love Day, the, uh, um, uh, uh, Day After Tomorrow. Those are terrible. Patriot. Those are he terrible made the films. There you go. Yeah, those are See? terrible films. And I, I love them all. You know what I'm saying? But I also recognize that they're terrible. You know, there's nothing wrong with liking some crap. I watch wrestling too. You know what I'm saying? Uh, what else we got? Uh, John Vice is some Monty Rodica. Lord Jamarcus is some Monty Rodica. We got two of them in. Ugh. Who's your buddy? I mean, can we really trust someone's score who still doesn't recognize Stan as a five star Eminem star? Come on, who's your buddy? Really, who's your buddy? Bang, bang! That motherfucker did that shit. Really? Who's your buddy? Yes. Yes. I thought yes. I was your buddy. Who's your buddy? Really? Yes. And, you know, actually, now that I think about it, you know, because y'all could have sent these in for free, but since y'all are giving us money, so technically, we owe y'all. So John Vice actually gets another Monty Rodica because he's given us the one for Larry, but then he paid for one that he's not getting. So really, he should get two. The same should go for Lord Jamarcus as well. Just saying. Just so we can be fair. Just so we can be fair. And and look, you get to for for just this is the last month when you guys can have your Monty Rodica read for two dollars a month. Okay? Because you get the star weight. Zoe, take me on full screen real fast. Because I, I want to make sure we highlight it real fast. There we go. You get the star of such film as Jay and Silent Bob's reboot. Okay? He's been in a movie with Ben Affleck, Matt Damon, and his close personal friend Chris Hemsworth. He calls him C.H. You know what I'm saying? This is like, so look, you can have the Egyptian god himself, okay? The 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 the, the mahogany throat. Read your Monty Roddick, okay? Join the Montaraj, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, fuck you, fuck you, fuck no, you. No, I'm just no, I'm just saying, man. Just trying. And Monty tells me all the time that that shit makes his his uh his sex life so much better. Um. Yes, uh, yes, I got you. Uh, I, I don't want to dox who this person is. Somebody just sent me one on Facebook. So that's three we got. We need two more Monty Rodicas to come in. I'm waiting for them to come in. All right, I'm ready to talk about it. And look, I'm going to be real quick with this. And look, look, here, here, here's, here's what will happen. Okay. Because it looks like I'm, I'm, being, I'm being up front now. It looks like this show is running tight. We're going to run out of time because we got... We got this movie and another movie that we're probably gonna fight about. I, I you think we gonna fight over Batman Superman? We might. We might. Larry, Larry came in armor. Look, look at him. Look at him. Look yeah. at Larry. He came. He came prepared. Look, look. But, but, what I will do mm -hmm. is if we don't get to it on this show, you email the shit to me, and I will go live on our channel tomorrow. No intro, no nothing. I will just pop up live and read the shit, and then pop okay. off. It'll happen. It'll happen live on the channel, and it'll stay the fuck up. I got you. Okay, cool. So there you go. I'm about to. Go. I'm about to grab this Monty Rodica. 
copy that. <laughs> Who's your buddy? Says we're buddies, Monty. That's why I fuck with you. All right, yeah. all, right. Yeah. all right. Why are you talking shit then? Who's your buddy? Why are you talking he's shit? Not, is he talking shit or is he saying real facts? It's all. <laughs> it's, all it's, it's all. It's all I'm saying. All it's right. Just there you go. Anyway, um, yeah. All right. I'm I'm ready to talk about. Uh, all right. Go, go for it. This go Monty Rodica in the chat. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Oh, that's for you, Monty. Anyway, uh, I chose Deadpool as my pick. Um, and look, I'm going I'm to keep this one brief because uh, I, we got a lot of show to get through and there's a lot of stuff to talk about. Um, and, you know, we look and I'm trying to make sure that we have enough time to talk about fucking Batman versus Superman, the ultimate edition. Um I love this movie. I love Deadpool. I picked it because I'm like I've been waiting for us to talk about this to find a reason to talk about this, and we haven't. Deadpool is one of my favorite characters of all time, and uh, when I saw that they were trying to do a Deadpool movie and Fox was doing it, I was absolutely fucking terrified. And seeing what Ryan Reynolds and T.J. Uh, Miller did with this shit, I was blown away. I love this movie, and I I I, I think I only got one or two left. But yeah, this movie is get. Oh look, Giant Hannibal right now. Hello, hello everybody. How is everybody doing today? <laughs> She's working it's on. Good it. to, She's working. It's good on. to see you, fine people. Yes. Um. Look, this is the. Uh, I I got you. I got you, uh, Larry. Um. So look, uh, I love this movie, and honestly, I have nothing bad to say about this movie. I am giving this movie the coveted A plus. Okay. I. This is easily one of my 10 favorite comic book movies of all time um and i i don't have anything bad to say about this movie this movie i think is flawlessly put together i love it and that's it that's that's all i got to say yeah yes i came a little when i saw this i i i, I like this movie is so good i i sat in the theater expecting it to be bad and then the as soon as the intro comes on and the way they deliver it as you know directed by some asshole starring random british villain and cgi character the movie is so self-aware of what it is and its place in the world and it's had such an impact on comic book culture and film culture up until this point like they've literally reformatted other movies to be more like Deadpool. And there's lots of movies that have made a lot of money that people don't try to mimic. Ain't nobody out here trying to mimic the Transformers movies. They made a shit ton of money. Yeah. You know, like like this movie did something very, it showed that they could make a rated R superhero film and make a lot of money. And I know a lot of people be like, oh, but Blade did it first. Yeah, but a lot of people didn't know Blade was a comic book character in 1995. Yeah. Yeah, you and, know, and Blade didn't do it like Deadpool did. Yeah, and Blade, yeah, Blade didn't do it the way Deadpool did. You know, and then the way they they attacked the the breaking the fourth wall, all of the inside jokes, like just look. There's nothing else I can say about this movie, so I'm gonna just hand it off to, uh, to Montel. Uh, yeah, I give this movie an A plus, and I I don't I'm stingy with the A pluses, but yeah, I, this movie is getting an A plus from me. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, well, so. yeah, yeah. I'll take it. Switch it over to me. I'm 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 good with it. Um, and then we'll. <clears throat> we'll go around this way, and then we'll just, if there's discussion, we'll discuss. Other than that, we'll just hit the next movie, because we're we're running low. But, but I am a, uh, yeah. I, I I saw this for the first time. What, what year did this movie come out? Um, this movie was. I'm I'm checking real quick. This movie came out. Deadpool came out 2016. So. How, how old were you? Um, young. Huh? 11. So it was 11. Um, I saw this movie in the theater with my 11 year old. <laughs> her, her mom is probably out there listening to this show because she was, she was a little upset with that. Sorry, Sue. Um, <laughs> but you enjoyed this movie when you saw it, right? See, she enjoyed it. She's well adjusted. You see how the production is on this show. It didn't fuck her up that bad. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we both thoroughly enjoyed this movie. And upon this watching, this viewing of it, I still thought it was amazing. I walked away blown away. I, I got more than I expected. And it was... 
I hadn't gone back and revisited it since, but on this current what? viewing, when I rewatched it, I'm like, oh yeah, this movie's fucking amazing. It was everything a Deadpool movie should be, but also, if you knew nothing about Deadpool and you walked into this, you can enjoy this movie. So, I'm with Hannibal. I hope I have some left, but this gets one of my A pluses. <clears throat> All day, oh, every you day. motherfucker! I, you caught me all the way off guard. I just, I just was expecting you to shit on it and then argue with your ass, and then no. you just fucking just went the opposite direction. No, this movie absolutely gets one of my A pluses. This movie is fucking great. I came a little when I saw this, and everybody should see this movie. It also gets, you know, the same things that comes with an A. Yeah, so. I, I've had a friend of mine who saw this movie and absolutely hated it. Now, I'm, I'm gonna talk about him in a second, but all Larry. Right. Uh, I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready for Larry. Larry and Vapion. I know one of y'all gonna shit on this movie, and that's okay. I mean, it's not okay, but it's okay. Let's get to it. I'm ready for it. Yeah. I'm, 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 in, I'm preparing myself. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm gonna mute my camera right now so I don't <clears> interrupt <throat> when, when y'all talking. There we go, Larry. Take it. So, so is it me? Is it me? Yeah. All right, cool. So, uh, so real quick, what was funny was real talk, dude. I'm not. I'm not a Deadpool fan. I'm yeah. a Deadpool fan. I've never been a Deadpool fan. Never liked <coughs> Deadpool. It's the main reason. I do. I did not watch this damn movie until I had to watch it for this damn episode. And I was like, shit, now I got to finally watch this. I didn't dislike it. <laughs> I did not dislike it. All right. I was shocked. I was like, oh, my God. Um, yeah, uh, I thought it was fine. thing I liked the most is probably... The action scenes. The action. The action is really good. Action is really good. The yeah. thing I disliked the most is probably other than 35's ugly ass uniforms. Let's see. What did I dislike <laughs> about this movie? Um just some of the dialogue, I guess. Alright. But not even like not not even enough of the dialogue. Yeah, just some some of the gags didn't work as well. Um, but yeah. Anywho, Hannibal gonna get mad at my rating though. Um, <laughs> I am at a C plus. Oh, which is because a C plus is what almost really good. Almost good. Almost good. Yeah. I'm good with that. I'm good with that. <laughs> if I'm you want almost that. really good, that's a B minus. So there you go. I'm I'm between a C plus and a B minus. I'm right on the cusp. All right. I'm Ooh. right on the cusp. Oh. So you got Constantine better than <clears throat> Deadpool? Yeah, but but we're talking subject sub, subjective at that point. We're just talking about a taste issue at that point. <sighs> they, they <clears throat> <laughs> Maybe I. Look, I'm glad. So, I'm, 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 I'm glad. Look, I'm glad I had my 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 mic muted so you couldn't hear all the motherfuckers I was yelling at you just now. I thought sounded like Samuel L. Jackson was in my apartment helping me move just now. <laughs> but I'm, oh, hold on, wait. Let me mute up again so maybe I get out. All right, Vapion, what say you, sir? I too am not a big Deadpool fan. I, but. And the first time I watched this movie, I was not a huge fan of it. I actually have a friend who walked out on this movie in the theater. Wow. He, like, he hated it so much. But uh, it's an A- minus for me. And the reason why it's an A- minus is because Deadpool 2 exists. And Deadpool 2 takes everything this movie does and makes it better. You have the Juggernaut in Deadpool 2. You have more X-Men cameos. Uh, I was told to write down what I liked and disliked about this movie. Yeah. Um, the soundtrack is amazing. Like the the music for this movie is like the music I listen to anyway. And what I disliked is like the villain is like a nobody that I've never heard of before. Like they could have went with somebody a little bit bigger than just a no name guy named Francis. But other than that, I really don't have anything bad to say about this movie. <laughs> all right, all right. John Vice is challenging you hard in the chat. He, he says Deadpool Two is not better a better movie. Deadpool Two is just a bigger movie. I I agree with John Vice because I I love like 
the 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 first Deadpool is just is is so just almost yeah. flawless. I, I think whenever I talk to people that don't like Deadpool, a lot of times it's whether or not, and as Larry was saying, uh, is whether or not that style of humor lands with you or not. Um, it's sort of like, and the best way I can explain it is is Dane Cook. You know, like if you like. If you like that style of humor, then you'd be like, oh, yeah, this nigga's hilarious. And if you don't like that style of humor, it's, that's a long hour and a half set to sit through. You know, and I think that's kind of that that's the one draw I would have with. Uh, um, I, I think it's the one issue I guess you would have with uh, uh, um, with Deadpool is does that type of humor land with you or not? Yeah. Um, but, you know, yeah. Land, landed with me, motherfucker. I yeah. saw that movie, like, and then literally just after the movie went off, I just stayed in the seat. Yeah, and look, and just here's, waited for the next movie to come back on. I didn't even leave. I just stayed in the exact same seat. I let the motherfuckers come and sweep up all around me. Here's like, the thing. Here's the thing with Deadpool. This is why one of the reasons I landed with an A plus, especially for a comic book movie. Because we're grading this movie next to every other movie, as much as I enjoy that movie, there is a person I know that is not into comic book movies at all. Mm. But she is all about, let's watch Deadpool. So this movie lands for non-comic fans. Someone that knows nothing about Deadpool mm. can see this movie and wants everybody that she knows to to see or have seen Deadpool. Mm -hmm. This movie works beyond the audience it's intended for. This is true. So this it's true. And look, that that year, the year after it came out, it's like Deadpool came out first, and then after the success of Deadpool, they literally changed Suicide Squad to 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 fit that that style of film more um and then that year uh at uh dragon con the, the big con that they have here in atlanta all the women were dressed as harley quinn yeah well most of the women were dressed as harley quinn and everybody else was dressed as some variation of deadpool yep, yep. you know like it wasn't just it wasn't just popular it just this movie did things it took it did things and took chances that no other superhero <laughs> or comic book film even attempted, uh, and 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 it worked. And it was just like, man, these motherfuckers, they 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 got it in. Yeah, they they, they got it in. You know what I'm saying? So uh, yeah, and you know, drop one of clues bombs from Miranda Bacarin. You know what I'm saying? I was a big Stargate fan. You know what I'm saying? So it was real cool to see the villain from seasons nine and ten fucking pop her ass up, and I got to see her titties. Bam, that yeah. happened. Yeah. Also, small titties. So I really should take a point off the movie. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, I'm I'm joking. I'm jo all titties matter. Okay, look. <laughs> there you there's go. a oh. there's a moment in Deadpool that really shows my sense of humor. He's like laying on the bed talking to his like neighbor the that are both tied up, and he's like, "Yeah, I want to give a Dutch oven to Meredith Baxter Bernie," and the other guy's like. I want to get a touch of it, but bear through back to Bernie. That's like my sense of humor. Yeah. <laughs> so there's just like play, dude, where he's just like, I want the opposite of what you just, the outlined the thing you just said. Yeah. 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 I, I'm, so, I'm, yeah. I'm, 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 I am with it. I think this shit is great. There's also, no, Larry, real fast, let's, let's go ahead. So you, you the low man in the group. Why, why, why a C and not a B? Why, why, why does it fall so low? Why is it so average for you? Why is it so slightly above mediocrity? <laughs> that's, that's just how I felt. That's just how I felt. Like, well, because dude, because I'm thinking, because, because, because y'all do, y'all do the whole ranking system, right? Yeah. Yes. Uh, uh, you know, comparing it to other movies, right? Yeah. Every other movie, right? That's yeah. the rule, right? Yeah. Deadpool is not a B for me. Okay. Like Deadpool is not what I think of when I think of a B, but it's not lower than a C. Okay. So. But but it's not but it but it's better than a hard C, so that's why I'm like I'm at C plus, borderline B minus, right on that cusp, depending on what the curve is, you know, the, the, the smart kid in class with the glasses and the pocket protector, that motherfucker might knock the curve over, but uh, <laughs> but yeah, I mean like like for me, dude, is is it's 
I, I wouldn't like if I'm thinking if I'm thinking of all the fucking superhero movies I've seen, all the comic book movies, well, not even superhero comic book, right? If I'm thinking of all the comic book movies I've seen, and I'm mm-hmm. thinking of five categories, A, B, C, D, and and F, mm-hmm. it wouldn't be in the B's. Not the movies I would put in the B's. Mm-hmm. Okay. But he it's better it's the, than B. So, so it's better you, than the C's. I got you. So you're doing it like the tier grading, like the A tier, B tier, C tier, like yes. that. Yeah, so so it wouldn't necessarily be in with the B's, but it's mm. better than the C's. It's like like right on, you know. It's almost a B. It's almost a B. Maybe if it squeezes butt cheeks, and and, and think real hard, you, you can get in that B. <laughs> all right, all right. Mm. Uh, see, I, I want to dig more, but we we man, Larry, we can't. I love your wrong ass because you was wrong. You was wrong. But, you you wrong like a uh, like a dog. Thought, that gets I, born and eats his own shit and fucks his mom and sucks anticip- him just doing I too. Anticipating, I was anticipating giving that movie an F. The fact that it that it's a C plus for me. Yeah, uh, that that that's actually a good step, Hannibal. You... <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I got you. I got you. You know what I'm saying? You wrong, but I got you. I hear you. All right. I, I, all, right. I, I, I just, all right. Look, dude. How much time we got left on on Deadpool before we got to move we, on? We should move right now. Okay. All right. Well, let's let's move on to the movie that that we are all here to talk about. And well, no, I don't know if we all here to talk about, but let's let's talk about the last one on the list. Yeah. The last one on the list. The most one of the most controversial superhero films ever made. Right. Like it's just there was matter of fact, we had a, a, a shit show guest Monty uh, that when Batman versus Superman came out. He saw it before I did, and he called me. He said, say, bro, I just left seeing Batman vs. Superman. I said, how was it? And he said it was the perfect superhero movie. And then I went and saw it, and I said, so just so you know, you cannot be trusted. I just want you to know that. Yeah. You you cannot be trusted, sir. True. So, yeah. So, um, here we go. Let's, I don't know let's... who the... Uh, I, I don't know who that guy is, but... I, 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 I'll, tell you, I'll tell y'all privately after the show. I don't want to put him on blast. Without him having a chance to defend himself, yeah, well, you know what I'm saying. But he did I, say that this shit was great, and it, and then look, I made the mistake of I I tried to ask Monty before we did this show. I said, hey, do you want to do the theatrical version or the ultimate three hour edition? And he was like, oh, for God's sake, please get the theatrical version. So I, you know, did, I did my searching. And found the theatrical version, made it available for everybody, and come to find out somebody mislabeled the motherfucker, and we ended up getting the three-hour Batman versus Superman mm. movie. Yeah. So, that being said, Zoe go full screen with Monty. Yes. Let's talk about this. Let's talk about it. So, Monty, what do you think of Batman versus Superman? The ultimate edition, the yeah. three-hour ultimate edition. Yeah, the version that I wanted to watch. I remember walking out of the theater and wanting to put punch either a puppy, a baby, a kitten, <laughs> destroy somebody's uh, flowers that Universe? their boyfriend just gave oh, okay. her. Okay. You know, I, I wanted to. You know, I wanted to. You know, destroy someone's happiness. <laughs> OG Ben Grimm says Batman vs Superman was white on white crime. <laughs> oh, it was. It was. That was, you know, that's the version I wanted to watch, and and I I was curious to see what I would feel about it. Rewatching it, and I woke up this morning after not having any of the shit you see around us done. Knowing, all right, I only got two movies to watch, then I can get on the stuff. I wake up, I'm having my morning cigarette, haven't even had a si- sip of coffee yet. My fucking phone rings. And look, anybody that knows me knows that right when I wake up, I just want to sit and look at shit while having a cigarette for the first few minutes. While my, while, while my coffee's brewing. I, don't talk to me. My fucking phone rings. And it's fucking Hannibal. <laughs> and and it was he 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 knows. He doesn't get the normal enthusiastic Hannibal the beat animal. I'm like, Hannibal the beat animal. What's up? <laughs> look, and just, let me let me just add to this real fast. 
I, I knew he was in a certain type of mood because normally when I call Monty, that should have ring like once or twice and he answers the phone. Yeah. And this shit rang like 10 times, <laughs> which means this nigga was looking at his phone and was trying to decide whether or not he would answer. I was, I him because guy. I was he having was a cigarette looking at shit, Hannibal. First thing in the morning. That's yeah. what I need to do. Uh-huh. <laughs> I need I need that time where nobody, look, even Zoe, look, if her arm gets cut off, she will wait till I come back in and at least take a sip. And she'll come up and be like, hey, hey uh, Dad, I'm, I don't have an arm anymore. Like, oh, shit, you don't have an arm because I had a sip of coffee. I had my cigarette. <laughs> Let's get that arm and get you to a hospital. <laughs> but if she comes out in that in-between time, I'll be like, oh. wait, what's wrong? Hang, hang on. I don't. Wait, what? Why are you bleeding? <laughs> you know, that's where I am. But he called and he's like, I, I forgot how he phrased it. Um, what I said to you was, I <laughs> fucked up. I thought I had picked the theatrical version, <laughs> but instead I did the 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 three hour ultimate edition. Yeah, that that was that was what I said. Yeah, and and then I probably got off the phone with you because I could hear how angry. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, yeah, that happened, and he was going to reach out to everybody to see what's up. I was going to watch Deadpool first. A bunch of other shit happened. I ended up watching this, and as I'm watching it, I'm like, oh yeah, this is the part where they don't tell us about this. Oh wait, they did. Okay. There's a lot, a lot of the details that I thought should have been in the theatrical version that were in this. It was a lot more fleshed out. The fucking Martha scene is still stupid as shit. Um, but it, the story makes more sense in this version, actually, given more, you know, more context. All these scenes are given a lot more context. Um, so this, this version, and I still want to go back and watch the theatrical version and see how I grade it. But this version gets a higher grade than the theatrical version, I think, right now. I didn't hate it, but I still didn't love it. I remember hating the theatrical version when I walked out, and I didn't hate hate this. I didn't think it was great, but I I land at a at a C minus on this one. So I think, you know, the ultimate Ultimate cut of Batman Superman hits a solid C minus. It's it's still got all the elements. I and one of the things I try to do with these comic movies is separate the comic from them. Like mm-hmm. I I have never I don't know who Batman or Superman I don't know anything about Batman or Superman. Tell me a story. When watching it this way, Lex actually becomes a much more enjoyable character. He's if you don't know who Lex Luthor is, you can enjoy this weird, crazy guy. Like I, I found him enjoyable separating that. But uh, if you're bringing the comic in, it's a shit Lex Luthor. But separating that, it it I would have dropped it lower if I were bringing comics into it. And Batman killing people would have also dropped the break, uh, grade. But you know what? For the context of this movie, it all works. Everything fits. It's all the parts they needed were there. So I'm I'm solid on my grade. That's where I am. There we go. I pass it off to the next person. Larry. Larry from OAW. Oh boy, I I can I just I'm just just stand, look push put all the furniture up against the walls. Okay. This motherfucker about to go torrential. Hurricane Larry is about to touch down in New Orleans. He ain't going to be that dramatic, dude. Chill out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. I, done, I, done, I, done, I done already said my piece about this this movie multiple times. You can find that on my channel. Yes. YouTube.com yeah. slash OAW Entertainment. I got, a whole, I, got a whole, I got a whole rant about it. Um, mm-hmm. What's the lowest possible score you can have? F minus. I give it an I. <laughs> Y'all remember eyes? Y'all remember what eyes were? Yeah, incomplete. Incomplete. <laughs> Meaning that you had to come back the next semester and finish the work 
and then submit it to your professor in order to get approved for a passing grade. But until that happened, you didn't have a grade. I give it an I. Even the even this version of it. Yep. Damn. All right. All right. Yep. I give it an I. We don't have I on the board, so that that's gonna happen. Make a new graphic. <laughs> 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 right, um, right, right now it's going to be an F minus because that's the that's the lowest grade we could give it. Yeah. Um, so, Damn. Batman v Superman is probably one of the worst. No, I'm sorry, it is one of the worst comic book films ever made. Um, and in the immortal words <clears throat> of Jeremy Irons from the same fucking movie, well, not for lack of trying. <laughs> there's a lot of shit in this movie that could have actually worked mm. and that's why it's so much worse you could there. I've said this before and I'll say this again until I'm in the grave or until the motherfucker changes my mind Zack Schneider is a great idea guy he's a good concept guy he's a terrible execution guy there's a lot of good ideas all of the execution <clears throat> sucks at this. everything about this movie straight up from top to bottom whether it's the writing whether it's the fucking story, the plot, the dialogue, the fucking graphics, the fucking compositing from the fucking editing to the fucking sound mixing to the fucking score, all of it's trash. And as great as a cast that they have for this movie, they're given the worst possible fucking material they could ever work with. And yes, I'm including fucking Ben Affleck's 03 fucking Daredevil. Yeah, this was worse than that. <laughs> Damn. Um, yeah, it's just yeah. The the, the film's hot trash, <clears throat> hot smoldering, um, in the dumpster, burning, <laughs> smelly, stinking. <laughs> it's 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 trash. Damn. Okay. It's trash. Told y'all. I said back back up. Put the furniture up against the walls. Larry about to damn. Tornado Larry about to touch down. All right. All right. All right. Larry. Okay. He upgraded from tropical storm to hurricane. Okay. All right, all right, we're, we're gonna we're gonna go to Vapion, see what he says, and then we'll we'll talk about this a little bit. See what and we then Hannibal, yeah, right? and then, and yeah, and then Hannibal, and then yeah. Hannibal, like yeah. of all course, right. just make, making sure that we was all right. Vapion, what say you, sir? Zoe, go full screen with Vapion. Vapion, what did you think <laughs> of Batman and Batman v Superman: Dawn of Justice, the ultimate three-hour edition version of this movie? What'd you think, sir? I uh, I don't think I could hate a movie as much as. As Larry hated this movie, I, I, so my my mind's not going to be as climactic as his. But when I got the message, I got from Zoe. It said you can choose any movie except for live action for Batman. I'm like, yeah, okay, I understand. They, they wanted to do something special for Batman, and then I see Batman versus Superman. Yeah, it's like, well, I was mean, on the show, and I can't. And it's like we're, we're not like Batman, like. I have to review Ben Affleck's Batman. And then, uh, <laughs> uh, He's like, so wait, you gonna make me watch a Batman? You gonna make me watch this Batman? Yeah. And then, and then Hannibal hits me up, and he's like, "Did you watch the Fiasco version or the Fiala version?" And I was like, "I'm just gonna watch whatever was in the folder." And then I saw that it was the 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 Fiala version. And I was like, "Well, that's on HBO Max, so I'm just gonna watch it on my TV." And then. Uh, for some reason, Jesse Eisenberg is not as bad in this cut as he is in the theatrical cut. I think he's a little bit better. There are some parts of it I didn't hate of his. Uh, like, his, his speech with the senator from Kentucky, I, I actually liked a lot. Uh, there's a part where I watched it with a closed caption on, and there's an officer named Rucka in it, which is a reference yeah. to Greg Rucka, the comic book artist. Yep. Um, I gave this movie a C plus, and the only reason it gets the plus is because I love everything about Wonder Woman in this movie. Like her, her theme is great. Uh, Gal Gadot is great. Honestly, if you took a if you took the Batman and the Superman, and then you set it in like World War One or World War Two, and you and you movie about Wonder Woman, you had a better movie. And then, uh, cause like everything else, I was like, man, like we're, we're like two hours into this movie. And then they're like, 
surprise, it's Doom today. And I'm like, oh, yeah. two hours into this movie and we're doing Death of Superman? Okay, <laughs> that's, a, that's a switch. And the, yeah, but yeah, it's, it's, <clears throat> it's not a movie, like, it, I would not, like, want to watch this movie again. Like I said, like I told you guys before we, we went live, I fell asleep during it and, like, woke up and was like, what did I miss? And I was like, oh, <laughs> oh, he stole the kryptonite. And I was like, oh, did I rewind it, rewatch it? I was like, no, I can't do it. I just can't do it. And then uh, the Marfa part is real flimsy because it's like, oh, they're hanging on the fact that two people named their, their parents Marfa like in the 60s. Like, yeah. they have, they, this wasn't planned out. It was just a coincidence. But I was like, that's not the most implausible thing this movie has. And yeah. I noticed it on the TV. The senator from Kentucky is a Democrat. And I was like, this movie is unrealistic. Like, <laughs> I thought a Democratic <laughs> senator from Kentucky since the 90s. Yes. Uh, oh, that's hilarious. Baby that's hilarious. on. Yes. <laughs> uh, I can't um, top that. Yeah, that yeah. shit was hilarious. That's awesome. That's, that's awesome. That's, that's, that's good stuff. All right, all right. All right. Well, let's pass it on to Hannibal. Zoe, bring up some Hannibal. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna do this in reverse. I'm gonna start with my grade and then explain <clears throat> why. Um, I'm I actually agree with Vapion. I'm also giving this movie a C plus. Um, the 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 issue with this movie is, and and let me let me preface this first. The comic book fan in me wants to give this movie an F minus. Right, because the Dark Knight Returns storyline, the Frank Miller Dark Knight Returns storyline, the aging Batman that decides to come back and fight crime and ends up eventually having to fight Superman, you know, that's the story they were supposed to tell. That's the story they should have told. Why they also wanted to shoehorn in the Justice League and why they also wanted to shoehorn in the death of Superman. They, they tried to do too much and it was way too many intricate plot lines for you to try to mash up into one film, all right? But the reality is, this movie isn't bad because this movie is bad. This movie is bad because it didn't manage your expectations for what you wanted this movie to be. Yep. And that's, and that's why everybody hates it. <clears throat> yep. Like, this, like, like, and I'm not gonna sit up here and, and play that role like everything about this movie is good. There's a, there's a lot of stuff in this movie to not like. <clears throat> the Mar the Mar why did you say that name? That's a stupid ass line. Yeah. That was a, like, the, like, when I first heard that the executives at Warner Brothers, like, when they first watched this movie, <laughs> they, that after <laughs> the went off, that they all stood up and applauded this shit. I was like, did we watch it? Did we? And then they, you niggas applauded the theatrical version. Like the the look, this cut of the movie is the better version of it because there's a lot of unanswered questions that get slightly answered in this movie. Whether it makes the movie better, like how much better it makes the movie, I'm not I'm not finna argue about. But it does. The movie gets a little bit more context and stuff like that. Um, and there's some look. The the my favorite scene in the movie actually happens right in the beginning of the movie when they show the uh the 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 Bruce Wayne perspective of the Man of Steel fight, the 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 fight between uh Superman and General Zod and, and Man of Steel, and they're destroying Metropolis, and then we get a chance to see what it was like for the people on the ground while this fight is happening. You know what I'm saying? And that's the story that they should have told. That's the story that we needed right there. Is it's the world recognizing that yeah, he's powerful, but he can fuck shit up. He kills people, and who's responsible for this, this, and that? That's the story. They didn't need to do all the extra shit. But there are good scenes in this movie. Um, I, okay, first things first. The thing I dislike the most in this movie is Jesse Eisenberg's performance as as Lex Luthor. It just didn't it didn't resonate for me. I didn't like the way he attacked the lines. It just it was just it was so over the top and all over the place um, that it just it didn't resonate for me. So that was the thing I disliked the most about this movie. But um, there's uh, the 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 uh, the scene where. Um, uh, what's her name? Uh, uh, Holly Hunter, where she plays Senator Finch, and they, they and, and they're in the room, and she's like, "Yeah, I'm not giving you the license to get the 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 kryptonite." And then he, you know, she was like, "Yeah, you can give me a bottle of fucking 
piss and try to convince me that is is grandma's piece of tea. I'm still not gonna drink it. And then right before Luthor blows up Congress, she looks and she sees a, a, a jar of piss. You know what I'm saying? And she's got that look of terror on her face. That that's good acting. The scene where Ben Affleck and 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 uh, when Batman and Superman, when Clark and Bruce Wayne meet each other at the Lex Luthor gala for the first time, and they have that conversation, and like Clark Kent is like, "Hey, uh, can I get a quote about you know quote from you about the crime and and Gotham and and the Batman and shit like that?" He's like, "Yeah, you sitting up here talking to me about." fucking Batman and crime like every time Superman rescues a cat out of a fucking tree y'all don't celebrate his praises like fuck you nigga Gotham (laughs) that's a dope ass scene Lawrence Fishburne in all the scenes that he in he steals it from every other actor in there Yeah. Um, there are some good performances from some very good actors but this is one of those movies where very good isn't good enough because We didn't want this movie to be very good. We wanted this movie. We needed this movie to be great. And this movie wasn't great. And because of everybody's expectations for this movie, the movie, uh, because it wasn't great, everybody's saying it was awful. I was like, no, we've seen awful movies. The 1977 Wonder Woman is awful. Three Dev Adam is awful. The the Roger Corman Fantastic Four movie is awful. Yeah. Hot Woman is awful. Spawn is awful. Yeah. Steel is awful. This movie ain't awful. I don't want to watch yeah. it again, but it's not awful. Yeah. It's like, and it and, and it's this weird balance of like there are parts of it that are good, there are parts of it that are bad, there are parts of it that, that don't really have any purpose. It was way too much shit going on, and I don't know whose fault it is. I don't know if it's Zack Snyder's fault. I don't know if it's Warner Brothers' fault. I don't know who to blame for why this movie is the train wreck that it is. But the movie isn't, like, and one of the big complaints I see people make about this movie is, oh, Batman kills people. Yeah, in this variation of this universe, Batman kills people. And if you have a problem with that, that's your expectation of what you think Batman is. Yeah. Like, you're judging the movie based on your perception of who Batman is. Yeah. And that's, and like, and I understand it, and I'm not mad at that. That's why I'm not arguing with Larry giving it an F minus. I'm not, I'm not arguing with that shit. You know what I'm saying? But you're not grading the movie for the movie. You're grading the movie for which you thought the movie was going to be, not what the movie actually was. That's yeah. why I gave it a C plus. Yeah. I agree. I agree. I I think I think the whole thing with this movie is people wanted like you walk in oh. expecting Superman and Batman. You oh. know who Superman oh. and Batman are. You know what you're expecting. If these were two random superheroes that we had never heard of, this movie would have been graded differently yeah. by I, everyone. I, I, Asriel said, I, Alario, give you a chance to talk because I know we got stuff to talk about." Yeah. Uh, our Asriel said, why was the Flash even in the movie? I agree. Yeah, why that was Flash pointless. Why, that was like, stupid. The, the whole Flashpoint paradox setup was ridiculous, yeah. and it never and it never gets resolved. So, you know, and that, and that and I don't know whose fault that is. I know it doesn't make the movie better. Like, that was actually going to be one of my cut of the keepers. It was the whole Flashpoint paradox scene. Yeah. Like, let's talk yeah, about Yeah, and that John Weiss, John Weiss, yeah, the clusterfuck parts would still be there. There are many things wrong with this. Yeah. But the complaints of Batman killing people and Lex Luthor not being Lex Luthor and all the all the other random shit, like separate who Batman and Superman are. This is this movie. Yeah, this is like you said, this is you managing like like in your head, Superman is a certain person and he's not adhering to to that thing that you think that he is. Batman, like, you know, everybody's like, Batman doesn't kill people. In this world, he fucking does. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And and as soon as that happens, like, all right, we have to accept or reject it. And the bottom line is there's a lot of people who d- rejected it immediately. It was like, oh, no, this isn't the preconceived notion I have. And again, I'm not mad at that. I'm, yeah. not, I'm not mad at your grades. I understand your grades. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But, like, it's, it's like, like, I've, like, I've seen the bad movies and I've seen the good movies and I've seen more of them than you have. I, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm right. On yeah, this one. But yeah. Like, we, but we've like, we've been in it with the bad movies, so like yeah, this I, this, I, this movie. Like, and look, look, Larry, Larry, I'm I'm gonna say this right now. We don't have this feature set up, but I challenge your grade, Larry. 
I challenge your grade. I'm rewatching this. Fuck you. I'm not rewatching this. I challenge your grade. <laughs> and look, and the, and the way the challenge feature is going to work is if enough my, people my, challenge my, you, you have to rewatch it. And if you don't rewatch it, your grade doesn't stand. How about this? Monty, you want me to rewatch this? Patreon.com slash OAW, select the blockbuster <laughs> tick. It's $30. <laughs> <laughs> you just have to get my rewatch this shit to watch this thing. And look, I'm, again, I'm not, I'm not mad at that. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling yeah. not mad at it. Like, this movie's definitely not an F minus. Uh, like I said, I've seen F minuses. I know what they are. It's right There's, up there with the F minuses, dude. Steel is, I would rather watch Steel over this. Yeah, I mean, they, <laughs> nah, Steel is worse. Steel is way worse. Oh, yeah. Steel, Steel is worse. Catwoman is worse. Spawn is worse. Uh, Spawn is uh, not that bad. The, the, Spawn is right up there with Spawn. No, it's right up there with Spawn. No, no Spawn is worse. Spawn. Oh, uh, I, I disagree. That fucking dog and that little kid are, are, are such a joy in that movie. <laughs> look, 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 listen, listen. We watched that movie shut all over, and I forgot about the kid or the dog. So yeah, they they didn't do their best part. parts of the movie. Yeah, trash. Trash parts of the movie, you know what I'm saying? But look, some people like trash. I like, I like <laughs> fucking 1990s Godzilla with Matthew Broderick. That movie is garbage, and That's I all know the that it, but the difference is, I know that is garbage. Okay, I don't treat it like it's good. I can separate the difference between, um, I can objectively grade this movie and take my feelings out of it. <laughs> Spawn is trash. I, 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 I love Michael J. White. Spawn is trash. That movie is so, all over so, trash. So 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 here so here here's the big the big problem I have with what you said. Go ahead. Because what you said contradicts what the fucking movie was trying to do. Go ahead. What's that? Because you said the movie ain't bad because it's bad. It's bad because of your expectation. Okay. I, no, I'm, I, let me let me qualify that right now. So because I, I want to make sure I'm understood. Um, the reason people are giving it very, very low grades is because they're grading it based on what the expectation of the movie was, not for what the movie actually was. Okay. So, this, okay. This movie is as good as a, any of the Fast and the Furious films. No, it's not. The first Fast and Furious is way better than this movie. Nah. Yes, it is. Yeah, yes, it I'm, is. I'm, I'm, I, I gotta be with Hannibal on this one. Nah, and you know how much I love nah. disagreeing with Hannibal. Um, anyway, <laughs> but, but what, I, what, what I was going to throw out with that is because because if like if you're talking about the expectations for a movie, that's one thing uh -huh. if you're talking about. But you kept bringing up the preconceived notions of the character. And that's when I call bullshit. And the okay. reason for it is because the movie argues on one hand that these are supposed to be like original adaptations of these characters. But at the same time, expect for you to be able to bring in that preconceived ideal of what that character is. Because if that wasn't the fucking case, why the fuck are we talking about Superman being such a beacon and all this bullshit when he was dead? No, the fuck he wasn't. Where the fuck you got that from? Wait. Where was that in any of the previous movies? It's because you want us to act on what we know about fucking Superman. It's the I same reason. Well, no. I disagree. It's yeah, the he... same reason why the end of Man of Steel was supposed to be shocking. Because you know Superman doesn't fucking kill. But they never fucking established that this Superman doesn't fucking kill. Well, they, they did establish it because Superman never killed anybody in the entire movie. He was a farm boy from Kansas, and he's in this moment, and he has to make that choice, which is why in that moment he flashes back to his dad, remembering the values he was brought up on, and he had to snap the motherfucker's neck to save people. So that's where they established that. That's oh, that where they established it. That don't make, that don't make no sense. Uh, uh, Jonathan also, Kent told him, let the, let the bus full of kids die. So that don't make no sense. <laughs> he, said, he said, let that bus full of kids die because it would be too dangerous for the world if they found out your secret, which it was. Yeah. So his dad was right to let those kids die. Fuck yeah. the kids. And, and also, like, they put the statue up. <laughs> That's Look, why first, he was first off. Hey, hey, like, let's not act like all kids is great. Like, you know, Hitler was a kid. Okay, some kids is jerks. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you know that. Also, speak, they, as they, speaking as the person that has no kids, all right, just don't, yeah. don't take me seriously. Yeah, but they they use this. They also used the statue to establish why Superman, why why Metropolis loves Superman, and the mm -hmm. articles. Is really, Metropolis, Metropolis loves Superman. Everybody, no one in the movie trusts him. Look. 
Then why the that, fuck did they build a statue of the motherfucker? That's, that's and true. look, look, that's wait, wait, no, no, hear me out, hear me out. Why the fuck did they build a statue of this motherfucker? And we're coming to the point where Perry established it. Is Metropolis falling out of love with Superman? That was the point of the fucking story. They built statues to this man within a couple years. This isn't like General Lee that we're tearing down. This is last fucking year, nigga, they built this statue. Yeah. And, they love him. And there's also the scene where, where, where Batman, where, where Superman saves the girl from the burning building in Mexico and all the Mexicans is laying hands on this nigga like he's yes. Jesus. Like, like, and they established also, it. And also, Larry, you have to take into account that, you know, just in, in life and in history, like, people will be like, even with even with somebody as despicable as Herman Cain and who who said and did all the dumb things that he said and did in his lifetime when he died what's the first thing people do they always respect an honor of the dead you know what i'm saying like it's not it's not that far fetched no they fucking did and they drove her have you been were you on twitter the day Herman Cain died yeah yeah. Did you read this shit, people? Yeah. I, look, I, look, I read, I read, all, I, look, I read all the tweets about him. You know when he died, and I read the tweets that he made after he died. <laughs> I read all of them. <laughs> but no, dude. So, so anyway, getting back, getting back to my point. Mm -hmm. The movie that that movie constantly argues. On one hand, you're supposed to take those characters as their own thing, and on the other hand, you're supposed to bring. Into it, whatever you previously wait, knew about wait, the fucking character. Wait, 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 before you, you before can't you, have before it, before you, wait, before you start gish galloping this point, where do they establish that in the movie that we're supposed to respect them for the iconography that they were from before? Like, when, where in the movie do they do that? Okay, so I already told you. The first notion was the end of Man Steel. Second notion was the end of BVS. Third notion was when Batman saves Martha. Those are the three big ones. How? Because. How? Because wait, all right, those so you are said the end, of, the end of Man of Steel. I say I reject that. What's the second one? So the the death of Superman at the end of BVS, mm -hmm. when Batman saves Martha in the big group fight. How how is that passing? How is that going back yeah. to old Batman being Batman? Because that's the only scene where Batman actually is Batman. The Batman we have throughout the rest of the movie isn't. Yeah. Batman wait. At all. Wait. All right, all right, wait, wait. Hang hang on, Larry, Larry. No, 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 you're not doing this, bro. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. You were yeah, saying, you, you, you were saying, you wait, 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 hang, 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 hang. You were saying, you were saying that because Ben Affleck's Batman was something that Batman fans are familiar with, they're trying to say you need to, we want you to identify with this. No, that is fucking wrong. I didn't no. say that. that I didn't well, say all right, all right what, are you, what the fuck are you saying then? I said, I said, I, I said. I want to make sure I get this. I want to make sure I understand it as you're saying it, Larry. I said, I said that the Batman we have throughout the entirety of that movie is not a Batman you recognize. True. That, that, True. That's his own thing. I'm with you. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. When we get the scene where he saves Martha, that's when he is finally a Batman that we can fucking recognize because that's something Batman would do. How he is in that fight scene when he said, that's regular Batman. But we're supposed to believe on, that wait, once upon a time, he was that character. But everything in the fucking movie, I, I have no frame of reference to think that he was ever that character ever to begin with. Actually, actually no, because they, they set it up through multiple frames of dialogue because... Uh, uh, the 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 first scene where they show um, I, I got you, Monty. The first the first scene where they show um, Batman conversing with uh, Alfred. Alfred is like, man, you starting to go real hard on these criminals right now, ain't you? And he starts to justify why he's being so hard on these criminals. He's like, well, fuck it then. We tried doing it a certain way, and now I want to do the shit this way. You got a fucking problem with that shit? And then throughout the movie, when they ain't got them, what are the people always saying? Like, when Clark goes to Gotham to research uh, uh, the, the Gotham stories, everybody in Gotham is like, say, bro, you don't want to be here at night because that nigga Batman is wilding lately. I don't know what the fuck going on with him. So they let you know throughout the movie that this incantation of Batman is a new guy. Like, lately, he's been wilding the fuck out. Yeah, and, and so they, like, es they establish it in the movie. And what I'm, watching what I'm hearing is because he stopped doing that, 
because he saved Martha, that tells you that this is them giving you something familiar. So you're supposed to think of the Batman you're familiar with. What if that character just grew into that Batman? That's what it's supposed to be. I don't think I, I don't think they they pulled that off. It's because I know they, I it's because you're attaching what you want Batman to be to it. You're like, oh, this is it. That now that now they're going with that. No. And, and 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 Larry, I feel like you're you're kind of validating the point that I have. Like you specifically have a preconceived notion of who Batman is or isn't, and this movie didn't conform to that. And it's like, oh yeah, so throw the movie in the trash. And again, I'm not mad at that because. Like, like, I, like the, the storytelling could have definitely did a better job with it. And they didn't do a great job with the storytelling. Yeah. Well, like, you know, like, uh, I, I think they tried, to, they, they tried to serve too many masters. Like, you can't tell the, the Dark Knight Returns and Death of Superman, um, you know, and the, the Dawn of the Justice League all at the same time in, in the same. Like, that's too many storylines for, like, and then keep in mind, the original run of this movie was, like, two hours and 15 minutes. That's too much sto- like the the Dark Knight Returns animated movies combined are like three hours plus. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Or like three hours. So it took them two movies and three hours to tell that story, and they tried to tell that story and Death of Superman in one live action movie. Hannibal, yeah. let me ask you a question. Go for it. I love. What's questions. the name? What's the name of this movie? Batman vs Superman. Okay. Yeah, Dawn of Justice. <laughs> All right. So if I was if I was to make Hannibal versus Monty, mm-hmm. doing a nonsense. Uh huh. <laughs> so I got Leonardo DiCaprio playing Hannibal. Okay. Okay. And I got Helen Mirren playing Monty. Uh huh. <laughs> and these motherfuckers ain't nothing like y'all mm-hmm. in terms of characterization. Helen, Helen Mirren is a very handsome woman, so I think she'd be a good Monty. <laughs> That's not the point, and you're being facetious. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm listening. I'm listening. Go ahead. Go ahead. What I'm saying is, if they, if, if if they don't have enough, and I agree, Helen Mary Wood could rock some fucking dreads. I agree. With that. <laughs> delicious. But, <coughs> give 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 motherfucking uh, John Vice uh, fifty plunger points, please. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but um, but what I'm saying is. If these people and the cat, if, if these actors and their performances and the characterizations of Hannibal and Monty in the goddamn movie has nothing to do with fucking Hannibal and Monty, you gonna sit up there and tell me, oh well, that's because you had preconceived notions of who Hannibal and Monty were. Well, matter matter of fact, fact, oh, look, I, can, can, I, you know what? can I reply? I, I, I can I reply to this? Can I can I take this first? Yes, I would say, as if and and depending on the movie. As Hannibal and Monty, if I watched it, I'd be like, this is nothing like us at all. But the movie could still end up being good as its own standalone thing. I'm like, they tried to do us, but they ended up doing this. It's like when you get in the kitchen and you start trying to cook, like, I'm I'm trying to cook, uh, I don't know, hamburgers. I fuck up, and I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, so I end up making taco meat, but it's delicious taco meat. If I keep calling it hamburgers, these are terrible hamburgers, but these are damn good tacos. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. I, I actually would compare, like, like Larry's uh, 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 example, I would compare to Green Book. You know, it's like the, the, the family, like the, the, the family that... Um, that's related to the guy that the movie was based on was like, yeah, this movie is not our grandfather and our father's life. You motherfuckers got this shit all the way wrong. And you know what? They got it all the way wrong. And Green Book is a good movie. Both of those things can be true at the same time. Yeah, yeah. but they're not true in this so, case. Those two points are not mutually exclusive. You right, know what I'm but, but, but neither one applies in this case. Well, yeah, I mean, yeah, look, look, listen, listen, like I said, like, the, the people that hate this movie, like, this, this movie isn't a, 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 a hateable movie. Like, I mean, like, like this this movie isn't, and no, let me phrase it, this is a hateable movie, but it's not a bad movie. Yeah. It's a pretty bad movie. All right. I All mean, right. I mean, see, see, you're trying to keep this shit going. See, you, Larry's trying, I'm, I'm not going to let you make me 
quit this show, Larry, with your wrong opinion. It's a fucking show. It's not going to change anything. It's still a bad movie. <laughs> you woke up this morning, wanted to get your cigarette before your coffee. It was a bad fucking movie. When you went back to watch it, guess what? It was a bad fucking movie. Yeah. You're sitting up here right now talking about it. It's a bad motherfucking movie. When you go to bed at night, guess what, Monty? It's still going to be a bad motherfucking movie. Well, and when you wake up tomorrow, it's still going to be a bad fucking movie. Well, well you know what, Larry? You know what, Larry? This was a shit show. <laughs> y'all, y'all, y'all finished or y'all done? I ain't got no more talking. Sweet Halloween and collard greens.